go ahead. Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Majestic Flowers and Gifts. Your trusted family-owned and operated florist since 2006. Our loyal customers are always satisfied with our attention to detail and customer service. We serve all of Morris County and offer deliveries for any flower needs. Providing our customers with a variety of flowers from prom flowers to anniversary arrangements, wedding centerpieces, get well soon flowers, funeral flowers, and much more. Next time you're thinking of getting flowers for your loved ones and special occasions, rely on Majestic Flowers and Gifts to provide nothing but the highest quality. Chief, I'm a little busy. Uh, she wants it now. Explain to me how I'm going to do that. We got fast lane, Brian. The fast what? Fast lane. Bring her in. This is us? Paul Miller Fast Lane? Who else would do it? Buy a car? Trade a car? Finance a car? Have it delivered completely online? This is so easy. She could have done it herself. She said you're the car guy, Brian. Isn't that the truth? It's the fast lane, winner. It's the only way to fly. That's fast lane. Powered by Paul Miller. That is the Paul Miller difference. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at Max MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. This gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. The green wave isn't just what we call ourselves. It represents all we are called to. Let's go! We strive for excellence in mind, body, and spirit. We put in the work in programs that test us, guide us to the colleges we pursue. We live true to putting others before ourselves, to the lifelong connections we've made. This is the spirit and strength we are called to. Roll wave. Step-by-step -step painting and general contracting, your trusted partner for all your home needs. For over two decades, we've brought our clients' visions to life throughout northern New Jersey. Our team of professionals and commitment to excellence deliver outstanding results. From painting, bathroom and kitchen renovations, additions, remodeling, and custom faux work, we've got you covered. Our team tackles projects of all sizes and complexities. Step-by-step -step painting, building dreams, one project at a time. 
Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Calling all parents of young athletes. Did you know that safe medication disposal not only protects your young athletes, but also the environment they play in? Be a proactive guardian. Safeguard your home by disposing of medications properly through drop-off sites in New Jersey, located at most police departments and designated pharmacies. By doing so, you help prevent pollution of our precious environment, ensuring clean waterways and healthier surroundings for your young champions. Make a positive impact on their lives and the planet. Safely dispose of unused and unwanted medications today. deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. The County College of Morris Foundation Annual Golf Classic is coming to Brook Lake Country Club in Flora Park on Monday, October 16th. Golfers will enjoy 18 holes of golf on one of New Jersey's premier courses between a barbecue lunch spread and a buffet dinner. Registration begins at 11 a.m., giving golfers access to the locker room, driving range, and lunch in the clubhouse before our 12.30 shotgun start. At 5 p.m., enjoy an open bar cocktail reception prior to our 6 p.m. dinner and awards program. Proceeds benefit CCM student athletes. Register online at ccm.edu slash foundation slash golf. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Attention homeowners. Get ready to meet Brandy Brosian of Compass Real Estate. Brandy wants to sell your home with ease and maximize your return on investment. Providing a personalized approach that includes deep cleaning, to staging, to professional digital exposure, Brandy's innovative approach provides so much added value that you and your home will feel the VIP difference. Don't wait another day. Reach out to Brandy Brosian today. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. 
the freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Behind the goal, we reset, and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti, the, the end zone, it is caught. Charge, look for the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score. And that is a base hit, the run will score. And Freshman, full check, gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is gonna make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three, he got it! <laughs> And welcome to Don Smolin Field here on the campus of Lenby Valley Regional High School in Stanhope, New Jersey, as Morris Sussex Sports brings you junior, junior college football as it's the home team. The Sussex County Community College Skylanders are coming to a record of 3-1 under their first-year head coach and former defensive coordinator Jim Robertson. Take on the Hocking Owls out of Nelsonville, Ohio, who come in a record of 1-5 under their head coach Craig Moore. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a kind of... A, Drizzly, overcast, windy day here, so we'll see if the conditions will have any factor on the outcome of today's game. We hope not. So on a day like this, bull security always paramount, no matter what the weather, but when the bull could be slick, it could be an issue. So I want to welcome you to this game. I'm Dan Cleary, and we want to thank Sussex County Community College for sponsoring this game. Start here, go anywhere. Check out the, all the information about upcoming open houses, late registration, registering for the spring semester they got a lot of great programs there uh, they have the culinary program they have uh, the uh, auto shop uh, over there at the, the old jr roof building they got a lot of good stuff technical wise and great education with a little art so check them out at sussex.edu want to thank dr john Connolly, the president dr corey homer uh, top poster the athletic director for all their help in getting this game on so I'm going to bring in my partner for today, Jesse Londino. Jesse, how are you, bud? Doing all right. How are you? Good, Jesse. We got to see this Skylanders team against Williamson, and they've been on a roll since, uh, you know, they lost last week to Lackawanna National Power, but scored 24 points. That's the most the Falcons have given up all year. But we saw them uh, against Williamson. What are your thoughts about what we might see today from them? I think as long as James Lobson is locked in, Sussex has a very good chance of winning this game. James has been terrific this year. His numbers tell the whole story. He, uh, they took him out last, last week when the game was kind of uh, decided. But on the season, James, 73 of 127 for 950 yards, nine touchdowns. He has not thrown a pick. 57% pass completion. He's also rushed for 225 yards. So he's averaging 237 yards per game of offense. When he does throw the ball, he likes throwing to those two tight ends, A.J. Petrota out of Dover and Craig Ships out of North Warren. They both have, uh, have been having great seasons for them. And we have the opening toss. And Hawking won the toss. It looks like they're going to defer. Sussex will get it first. And when they run the ball, Jaden Murphy, 32 carries, 231 yards. And John Galino also a threat. We're going to listen to the national anthem, and we'll finish our preview right after the playing of the anthem. Oh, also, can you see I the dawn's early light? What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars do the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch or so gallantly stream and the rock keeps red glare the bombs bursting in air gay proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say those lands are spangled, and yet we for the land and the free 
All right. Sussex Caps is out there. Daryl Fletcher, James Lobstein. Also, Jaden Murphy out there, one of the captains. And what a terrific defensive player for Sussex. One of the captains as well, Ahmad Peoples. So Hawking comes in with a record of one and five. They're coming off a tough loss to Nassau, a very good program, 14 to 12. Um, they've played Rochester, lost 45-6. They played Community Christian, won 30-19. Lost to DuPage, 45-0. And lost to Louis Louisburg, 30-6. And uh, Coach Craig Moore's been with the program since the start in 2015. He was a quarterback coach. He took over uh, from Ted Egger, who was a coach for three years. They're in Division Three and they're an independent. Sussex Division One and an independent. And uh, they're led by their quarterback. Uh, Joey Moore does a nice job. He's got a nice receiver in Deshaun Hamilton, and Lester McEnany paces their defense. So we'll give you the Sussex offense as they're ready to field the opening kickoff. Back deep for Sussex. There's Jalel Cabrera, number seven, and number 10, Caleb Ripley. And the starting lineup offensively for Sussex. As they come out in that spread, Lobstein likes to throw it around. So James at quarterback, running backs will be Jaden Murphy, tight ends Craig Schiff and A.J. Pichota, and uh, receivers, they a good bunch. Aaron Young, four, Duke McDuffie, five, Jalel Cabrera, seven, Justin Sellers, nine, but a whole bunch of them will see action. And that's gonna be fielded at the 20 and bringing it up the near sideline and a nice return there by Caleb Rippey, first and 10, Sussex. Offensive line is uh, Jonas Coleman, Kevin Thomas a little banged up, Billy Quinn, Mike Reed, Mason Consenzo, and Jason Wohler. So Sussex will take it first and 10. Pretty good field position. Hawking's defense, defensive end, Lester McAmey. He's number 11, nose tackle. Maiton Cottle, number five. Robert Saunders, number 90. He's a D tackle. Defensive end, Raleem Brooks. Your linebackers, Nate Amato, number 33. Cody Riddle, number 54. And Jacob Mattis, number one. Safeties, Jacob Harrison, 49. Charles Dicker, 38. And your corners are Jean-Louis Nunez, number 20. And Landis Randleman, 23. So first and 10 from the 42 for the Skylanders. Lobstein out of the gun. Ships rolls. Plants, they're going to pitch it out. And that's Murphy. He's got Billy Quinn from Sparta in front of him with the block, but a nice tackle by Hawkins, linebacker, coming up to make that stop. Number 49. So, and we have a flag there. So uh, the way they throw the ball, Jesse, kind of interesting, they come out running the ball. I mean, I think they're trying to get the ground game going, try to keep this Hawking defense off balance. They played Hawking, they did not play last year, there was a scheduling conflict, but they played them twice the year before and Sussex had to drive out. They played in Erie, Pennsylvania when they did play them. And uh, Hawking's had their number, beat them, beat them twice. So Sussex was looking for some revenge today. So after the penalty, the ball will be brought back to the 33. First and 20. Lobstein looking to throw, going deep, and just overshoots the receiver. As a, he was looking for Justin Sellers. So second and 20 from the 32. Looked like you had a step on him, Jess. Yeah, it sure did. I, I like taking the shot right there right after the flag, trying to get the team back engaged. And as you can see, they're already on the line of scrimmage right now. Yeah, they go to no huddle. They're gonna give it to Murphy, and that's nothing doing there. Hawking reads that perfectly, and making the tackles, the guy we mentioned, Lester McManaway. And, and we'll have an injured player, and it will be a Sussex player. Let's see if he's, looks like he's holding his knee. That's not good. Hopefully everything's all right. And as they tend to him, we'll step aside, folks. We'll be right back live on the more Sussex Sports Network. Find your career path at Sussex County Community College. We offer a quality education, hands-on training, and a supportive staff to help achieve your career goals. With 100 in-demand program options at an affordable price, your success is our goal. Register at sussex.edu for the fall semester. House to 
be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Son. Your family-owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto the injured player was Murphy. <clears throat> he walked off on his own and we'll have another flag. So free play for Sussex. Lobson's going to send it up and incomplete as he was looking for sellers on the fly pattern, but they'll pick up five yards because Hawking jumped. So it'll still be third and long. We'll just move it up to maybe third and 15. So early penalties, an issue thus far. Doesn't look like it's raining. It looks like the sun wants to come out. I'm hoping for that myself. Yeah, you're sitting outside, Jess. Just pulling double duty today. All right. Third and long for the Skylanders. They have to get to the Hawking 48. In the backfield. Motion. They'll throw it to the motion back. It's going to be complete. He's got a couple of blockers. And he's going to get a good chunk of that yards, but not enough for the first down. As he dumps it off to number six. That's Gary Felix, or excuse me, uh, that would be Bird. So they'll set up. Lobstein is the punter, so he has the option. He can have the green light if he sees something, especially at this area of the field. So he also has, a, he's got a good leg. So the pen penalties hurts Skylanders on that first drive. We'll see what Hawking does here on special teams. Do they come after it? Snaps there, and Lobstein will give it a ride. Terrific punt, angles it away, field it at about the 13, and good coverage there by Sussex. A nice punt by number 12. On the return, Lonnie Kraft. So we'll give you the Hawks offense. Left tackle, Richard Ricardo Frazier, 77, Colton Middendorf, number 74, left guard, center, Colton McCarney, 60. Right guard, Trevor King, 69. Right tackle, Jamar May, 75. Your wide receivers are Mason Reams, 83. Zion McIntosh, number 88. Your quarterbacks, Joey Moore. Running back, C.J. Curran. Slot back, Corey Collins. So first and 10 for the Hawks. At their own 24. We'll give you the Sussex defense in just a moment. Moore looking to throw. He dumps it off. And that'll be caught. Looks like he slipped right there. That'll be Jason Threat, number 24. Jason Threat. So short gain, second and nine from the 25. Moore out of the gun. He gives the running back up the middle, nothing doing. Sussex, great job gang tackling, short gain. That run up the middle, only good for a short gain. Leading the way there for down. Sussex on Let's defense. defense. Emmett Prather, their terrific linebacker, number seven. We'll give you that defense, your defensive lineman. You'll see Lamar Brown, two, Benji Gore, 11, Breon Askins, 20, and Elijah Hins Heisen, number four. And uh, there are your ends. Defensive tackles, Devontae Birdsong, uh, Amar Dry, and then those linebackers, Prather, Tyson Jack, he's number eight, on third and about seven. Pressure comes. They pick it up, and incomplete, no flag, and a good job by the Sussex defense forcing the three and out. The rest of that defense, the corner, Jack Alford, three, Darrell Fletcher having a great year, number 13, and safeties, Brian Vargas, 10, and Darry Felix, six. So good job 
by the Skylanders defense, which has been playing well last week. Just they had their hands full against a very good Lackawanna team, nationally ranked. But the positive is they scored 24 points. I mean, Lackawanna is one of the best college teams around this area, and it's always been a great battle between them and Sussex. And, you know, when Todd Poltersdorf, the now the athletic director, started the program and they come after the punt, he gets rid of it. Nicely done. And filled it at the 31 and bringing it up. That was Caleb Rippey. But uh, Todd said, you know, our goal is to be as good as Lackawanna. We want to be in the hunt for the top-notch players that go to Lackawanna. Lackawanna is a Division One pipeline. So, uh, and Todd said to me, you know, they had a five-year plan, and they self-admittedly, they're ahead of schedule, which is pretty impressive. I mean, Sussex is off to, I believe, their best start in school history, three and one. Yes, it is. And playing a nationally strong schedule, they, did not, they don't schedule weak teams, and that's a... A credit to the program, and that, that enables them to draw a top-notch talent. Lobson, first down, swings it out, incomplete. Second and 10. I mean, next week, they'll host Hudson Valley game you'll see on the Moore Sussex Sports Network next Sunday at 1 o'clock. They also play Monroe. They're going to make that long trip down to Georgia, play Georgia Military Academy, who gave Lackawanna their only loss this year. So they play a tough schedule, but... The way things shake out, Jess, they could get a bowl bid, and that would be great for the program. That would be amazing for the program. And just it's basically fourth year or third year. They're going to swing it out, and another incompletion, thinking about running before you're catching the ball there. Jameer Brown, so that'll bring up third and ten. So both of those plays have been there, Jess, just miscues. I mean, yeah, just a few mistakes. Hawking is looking to take advantage of those, but we still got third down here. Confident in Sussex right here. So hopefully Murphy's okay. He's running on the sidelines. Lobson looking at the throw, feels the pressure, and he has a receiver just short. He was looking for Aaron Young. And they hit Lobstein in the face mask. That might be a roughing the passer or a legal hands to the face. We'll see what the call is. And it's it's a hold against Sussex. So they'll probably decline that and make it fourth down. And they do. So Sussex will be in a punting situation again. So Lapsine will come out for his second punt. So a little uneven start, Jesse, for both teams. I mean, I'm a little surprised by this one, but we'll see how it continues if weather continues to play a role in this game. Lobstein had a beauty last. had a beauty uh, the last time he punted. Let's see if he can replicate that. Low snap could be blocked, and it is busting through for Hawking and making the block. Picked up by number eleven, but what a great job by number ninety, making the block, and that's the big guy. Robert Sanders with the pump pump block. We'll take a look at that. He came in and Lobson didn't have a chance and scooping up the ball was Lester McManaway. So great field position for Hawking. There you see it. And Hawking set up to a special teams miscue by the Skylanders and Hawking knocking on the door first and 10 from the 21. That's a big change of events for this game, but that was a big tackle by Lobstein able to save a touchdown. Certainly was. So we'll see if they take a shot immediately after the big play. Moore calls the signals out of the gun. They get to hand it off. Bouncing to the outside. Got room. And gets the first down. He gets knocked outside the inside the five. And on the carry, Jason Threat. So first and goal for the Hawks. A good job there by the line. And Threat did a nice job following his blockers. They'll have a first and goal right at the five. Just inside the five. So good job of the big guys up front. Again, their record deceiving. They play a tough schedule. Moore out of the gun. Going to give it to Threat again. And he is going to be in touchdown hawking. So a quick two-play drive from 21 yards out, and Hawking will draw first blood. 
with 10.30 to go here in the first quarter. Let's take a look at that again. Nice big hole. The guys up front doing the job. Colton McCarney, the center. Colton Middendorf, the left guard, and Trevor King, the right guard, opening up a big hole. So the extra point attempt. And Morgan Smith hits the, uh, the upright. No good. That extra point is going to hit the crossbar. So we no remain 6-0 hockey. So Jess, it's going to be inter interesting to see how Sussex reacts to that. Let's make a little bit of I noise. mean, last time we were here, I believe they were down in the first quarter, and then they, they were able to destroy the rest of the game. I'm sure they'll be able to come back from this 6 to nothing deficit. They just have to cut down on the penalties offensively. And that's been an issue, Coach Robertson. We get to talk to him every week. If you check out the Sussex Athletic uh, page, Kelly Barta, our great producer, also writes up a game recap every week, and uh, we talk to Coach Robertson. And one of the things he said is we got to clean up penalties, and that's what hurt them on their first two drives. So Cabrera and... Rippy back deep. So hockey making that roughly about a 10 hour bus ride from Southeast Ohio out of Nelsonville. And for whatever reason, they've had the Skylanders numbers played twice two years ago and beat them twice. Cabrera will field it, drops it. Picks it up at about the 15. Tries to get to the outside, and he's going to get wrestled down. Good coverage there by the Hawks. That was number 20, Jean-Louis Nunez. So Sussex will go to work first and 10. And good news for Sussex. Murphy back out there, number two. He's their leading rusher this year. A ball on the 28. Sussex will go to work. Lobstein out of the gun. Murphy with him. Trips to the far sideline. He's going to swing it out to Murphy in space. And Murphy will pick up seven or eight. Number two. Makes a nice turn up field. You can see how important he is. Two. First play back out there, and they're already giving him the ball. Absolutely. Ball, and it was a first down, the ball at the 40, excuse me, 38. So exactly 10 yards on that. They swing it out to Aaron Young. So Lobstein right now, uh, Jesse, looks like he's starting to get into a rhythm. I mean, I, I would trust him to throw the ball. He's a great quarterback, one of the best quarterbacks I've seen in this area. So the ball at the 45, pick up a seven, second and three. And a give is to... And Lobson keeps it on the run pass, and he will get the first down. So we can see what they do offensively, Jesse, when they don't have penalties. Yeah, I mean, they're moving the ball, and they're moving it quickly. And you could see Lobson is able to do it on the ground as well. As we said, he's, he averages about 237 yards per game running and passing. He's, he is the offense. He makes them go. Murphy back there with him. Off the play action, runs right into the sack, and that's Lester. McManaway, their top defensive player, he comes in and gets the sack. It's gonna bring up second down. This Hawking, this Hawking team has came to play so far. And there you see, he just rolled right into where he was being blocked, and great job by McManaway to make the sack. So, ball be at the 42. Second and long. They gotta get to the 41 of hockey. Play action, swings it over the middle, incomplete. And that's the third drop of the first quarter. Those are crucial right there. That, that would have got the ball right around where the line of scrimmage was. When he got back, the, Lord, the yards lost on the sack, so the set up third and long. Third 
Third and 17 from the 42. Lobson's going to take it as a seam up the middle and great run by James Lobson. He'll be short of the first down and we'll see if Coach Robertson decides to go for it here. I would imagine he is. It's tough, Jess, even if you have a great punter like Lobstein to get to pin someone in from this close. More times than not, it ends up being a touchback. I agree. So they're going to go for it. Fourth and two from the 43. And a give, and they're not going to get a great job by the Hawking defense. Gobbling them up. Making the tackle there. Robert Sanders who blocked the punt. He was the first guy there along with Nate Amato, 33. So Hawking again is going to be set up in pretty good field position. So they'll block a punt and they'll turn the Skylanders over on downs. First and 10 from the 44. So you make that long bus ride from Ohio. They got off the bus. They're ready to play, Jess. I mean, after that long drive, I definitely would be ready to play at any moment. Probably chomping at the bit to get on the field. More out of the backfield. Pressure comes as they give up the middle. Nothing doing there. Good job by the Skylanders defense. Great job by the Skylanders defensive line. And a point about that long drive. They still have to make that drive back, so they definitely want to go home with the dub. Absolutely. Amar Dry, along with Prather on the tackle. Loss of one, second and 11 from the 43. Again, folks, go to sussex.edu, get all the information, open houses, how to register. You can see all the courses. It's a great place to go, Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere. And the give is to threat. Tries to get the corner, and he's going to get dragged down. Good pursuit angle there by the Sussex defense, Ahmad Peoples. And that'll set up third and nine. At the 45, is the sun trying to peek through? The lights are on here. It's a kind of a raw October day after the beautiful weather we've had in New Jersey the last week. We had a lot of rain the last two days. But it is October, it's football weather. So third and nine from the 40, for, excuse me, from the 45. Skylanders showing blitz, they do come. And just getting rid of it is more, but a great open field tackle. That's Vargas. Brian Vargas, a terrific tackle. And that'll set up a punting situation on the reception. Was CJ Curran. That was a big stop for the Skylanders defense as they're going to get the ball back with right around six minutes left in the first quarter. We'll see if they come after this. Looks like they are. They only got one guy back, Vargas. Good snap. They do come after and they block it. Daryl Fletcher with the block trying to pick it up. They should just fall on it at this point. There you go. Everyone's thinking six. <laughs> and Tyshawn Jack will get on top of it. So they trade big special teams plays, Jess. We'll take a look at it. Daryl Fletcher's such a good athlete. He got through and then they finally covered up, so they have it first and 10 from the 34 of Hawking. And this Hawking defense better be ready because Sussex offense is already ready to play. No doubt about that. Twins to the near sideline. Ramos 81, he had a big 92 yard catch last week for a touchdown against Lackawanna on the delay, they give it to Murphy and he's gonna get stacked up. Reading that perfectly, Jacob Mattis, Mattis who uh, slowed him down. So it'll be second and 11 from the 35. We have five and a half to go here in the opening quarter, six nothing lead for Hawking. Thanks for joining us live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Lobstein with time to throw, he's gonna swing it out. And uh, just too high, just to, I thought for a while they were getting into a groove there, Jess, but 
That was disrupted by the defensive end doing a nice job, McManaway. Yeah, it looks like Lobstein just missed him just a little bit. I think he had to adjust the throw once he saw number 11 coming in his mush. Cabrera in motion. Showing blitz, they send one guy, Lobstein will take it. And that's a design draw because he's such a terrific runner. He's still on his feet. And he's in for the touchdown. What a run by James Lobstein. 35 yard touchdown for the quarterback. We'll take a look at that. I think that was designed, Jess. Yeah, I mean, we've seen so many QB draws for them. He's a terrific athlete. Got that big body too. He's able to bounce off people. Once he gets to the second level, it's tough to bring him down. He just showed that. So they'll line up for the extra point. Selvin Sabio's had a nice year. Snaps good, holds good, kick is up, and it is good. So Sussex will take the lead with 4.49 to go here in the first quarter. 7-6 Skylanders as they take advantage of the block punt by Darrell Fletcher. And they go 34 yards, capped by a big run by the quarterback, James Lobstein, as he takes it in from 34, 35 yards out. So, Jess, I asked you earlier, well, how do you think the Skylanders will react? You said they'll be fine, and you're exactly right. They got their own block punt, and now they have the lead. I mean, this is a high-powered offense. Definitely a spread offense, and it's a great watch for all the fans here. And yeah, they are fun, and that we mentioned before, worth mentioning again, 24 points that they scored last week, yet yeah, they gave up over 50 to Lackawanna, but no one has scored 24 points all season against the Falcons from Lackawanna, so that's, that says something about this Sussex offense. So Sussex will kick off. Some noise for the Skylanders. So, Sabio will kick off. And he'll give it a ride. That's a great kick. And that'll be a touchback. That's a weapon, Jess. If you have someone can, you, it takes away the chance of a big play on special teams if you can put it into the end zone. That's a great kick. Yeah, I mean, kickers are very crucial to any team. That old thing when, you know, you talk to older guys that played in the 60s and 70s, ah, kicker, that, you know, they mean nothing. The game has evolved that you need a good punter and kicker, and you even see in the NFL where some guys are drafted fairly high that are kickers and punters. I mean, Kickers usually score most of the points for the offense, so they definitely matter. But the old school thought was, oh, they're interchangeable. It doesn't matter who you have a kicker. Not true. First and 10 for Hawking at the 25. Moore. Motion. Get to the motion. Back in is fumbled and picked up by Sussex. And it's Darryl Fletcher. Touchdown, Sussex. Darryl Fletcher having himself a game, a block punt and a fumble recovery for the touchdown. He scooped it up at about the 20 and he takes it in for the scoop and score. Big play by Fletcher, two big plays. What a way for the Skylanders defense to respond. I think they were upset that they gave up that touchdown, even though it was a short field after a block punt. This is a very prideful unit. Unit. It's the one thing Sussex, since they started only a few years ago, they've built a reputation as a great defensive team. And Jim Robertson was the DC last year, and you know a couple of years ago when uh, in their first year when they played spring football and then the fall they had the Mafaro kid from Kittatinny, uh, Cole Weekly from Walkill. Now they had some great defensive players. And that tradition continues. I and mean, Fletcher, a big part of that, the sophomore. So after the extra point, that'll give Sussex a 14-6 lead with 4.51 to go. And Jess, it seems like the point you made earlier, too, about 
the Williamson game was tight for a little bit, and then they just busted it open. And Sussex trying to do that right now. Yeah, I mean, it took Sussex a little while to wake up, but there's still plenty of the game left. Oh, no doubt. This sure will be an exciting one. We'll see what if Sabio is able to put this into the end zone again. And that touchdown brought to you by Sussex County Community College, Sussex.edu, start here, go anywhere. Savio ready to kick off, has a touchback to his credit. Gives it a ride, that one won't reach the end zone, so it'll be played at the four. Bringing it up the middle, big hole there, and a great return for the Hawks. And that was Jacob Harrison. We have a flag though, we'll see what that is. Will that go back or will they pick up yards? Referees discussing it. Looks like the flag's on Sussex. Procedure against Sussex, but the Hawks with that great return obviously will decline that. And they'll get the ball in good field position again at the 39. First down honking from the 39 yard line. We'll see how the Hawks react after the block punt and the turnover. Moore, and on the give, and great job by Sussex. Vargas flying up from his safety spot to make the tackle, He's number 10. The He's been all over the field, too. He's made a couple key tackles in this game. He certainly has. So no gain, second and 10 from the 39. That was C.J. Curran with the carry. Both run the spread offense, both squads. Moore with time, swings it over, that's almost picked. Tyshawn Jack was right there. That pass deflected by number eight on the Skylanders. Strong side linebacker Tyshawn Jack, he is a veteran on this team. Let's make some noise for the Skylanders defense. Almost picked that off, make it third and 10. Those will get their pass defense on the field. And that point about the pass defense, I, I would look for a lot of pressure up front from this pretty much obvious passing situation. And they bring in Breon Askins, number 20, a speed rusher. Not the biggest guy, but he's very quick. And right on cue, Askins makes the tackle in the sack. It's almost like you called that play. And a great job by Askins. Number 20 flying in there. Well, you don't have to be the biggest when you're a speed rusher. And he showed that. So I'll set up fourth down at the 30. That's another thing how the game has evolved over the last 50 years. Your defensive linemen aren't just big guys because people don't run the ball as much as they used to. You need athletic guys. I remember you know, Jimmy Johnson was with the Cowboys. You know, he said the old, old saying, size hurts, speed kills. And he just did a speed rush, got the sack. Coming after it again, and they almost get to it. Short punt, Sussex will have great field position. Flying in on that was Aaron Young, the wide receiver. Oh, no, excuse me, that was uh, Elijah, he uh, Elijah Heisen. Almost got a piece of that. But Sussex will go to work first and 10. And just obviously a ton of game left with 3-0-3 here in the first quarter. But the momentum has definitely shifted to the Skylanders. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it took Sussex a little bit, about five minutes into this game, and they're definitely on their road right now. 
Ships in the backfield, along with Laubstein. And Murphy. A little flea flicker set up. Laubstein gets hit while he throws, and it's going to be intercepted at the 41. Great job by Hawking. On the interception, nicely done. So a big pick there for the Hawks. And Sussex had a chance, went for the trick play right away. Great job, defensive pressure. And the pick, and Hawking goes to work first and 10 from the 49. And we can see them back-to-back -back plays right there. How much this, the trench battles really matters. Both plays made by the defensive line. McManaway has been terrific, number 11 for the Hawks. So first and 10 from the 49. And on the give up the middle, what a run there by CJ Curran, making, his, making people bounce off of him. He gets a first down, picks up about 13. Ball be spotted just inside the 40. But Curran churning those legs. He had last week in the loss to uh, in their loss, he had 11 carries for 42 yards. And they're gonna feed it to him again. No, Moore's gonna keep it. And he darts inside and gets the first down. A good choice there to, to tuck that in on the tackle for number Sussex. Lamar Brown, number two. This time, ball will be marked at the 27 yard line. So another first down for the Hawks. Well, well, you said how would Sussex react? How is Hockey reacting and reacting very well right now? I mean, it's been a pretty even first quarter so far. With under two minutes to go. First and 10 from the 27. Moore and Kern in the backfield. Long count, high snap. And Kern's gonna make something out of that. Still on his feet and one guy to beat. And he, is he in? Yes, touchdown Hawking. A great run for the Hawks, C.J. Curran, touchdown. That looked like from the beginning might be another bad play for Hawking with the high snap, but Curran having nothing to do with that. Curran getting some great blocking with the big guys up front, and he scores the touchdown. So hats off to Jamar May, Trevor King, Colton McCartney, Colton Middledorf, and Ricardo Frazier. But that was a lot of Curran right there. You can see how fast he was there, too. So they're going to go for two after missing the first extra point. Try to tie this up at 14. 14-12 14 right now. Deshaun Hamilton in the backfield. Keeping it as Moore and no indication. No good, so Sussex comes up at a big stop on the two-point conversion. So with 1.42 to go here in the first quarter, we've got a barn burner, 14-12 Sussex. And Jess, we'll see right now, special teams have been big in this game. I mean, that, that those two points that they've been able to stop from the Hawking offense could be crucial down the line. Absolutely. Their first extra point bang the, cross, uh, the, the post, and then getting stopped on the two-point conversion. There's been a lot of great special teams plays so far. I mean, the two block punts. Right, that's been the theme. Two block punts, stopping an extra point attempt on the two-point conversion. Uh, Sabio put one in the end zone on a kickoff. So special teams has been the key thus far, plus a couple turnovers. Vargas back deep with Jal Jalel Kabur for Sussex. Hawking will kick off. And it's an onside kick and bounces around and he gets it. Did it go 10 yards? That's the big question. 
I don't know if that went 10 yards before they started touching it. So we haven't gotten a ruling from the officials yet. I think they're going to talk about it. What do you think, Jess? I mean, that was a close one. W was that the kicker himself? Yes, it was. It? The kicker himself got it. The only other time I've seen something like that is from Pat McAfee. So. <laughs> that was Zion, Zion McIntosh. And yes, it worked. Onside kick, special teams continues to be the story of the game. We'll take a look at that. Did he get the 10 yards? Doesn't matter what the replay says here. The referee said he did. And first and 10 for the Hawking Hawks. What a way for the Hawks to respond. Getting the ball back here with just under two minutes to go in the first quarter. I wouldn't be too surprised if they take a shot right here. Absolutely. More out of the gun. Trips to the near sideline, and the give is to Hamilton, and he dodges his way through. Vargas comes up, makes another stop, number 10. D-line holds up well there. Also in on the tackle for Sussex Ahmad Peoples. So it will be second and nine from the 48. As we approach a minute to go, first quarter, 14-12 Sussex, but this has been a wild first quarter. The momentum changes have been crazy. We only played 14 minutes. And he gives to Hamilton again. He bounces it to the outside, and he's going to be short of the first down or very close to it, but a great run by Hamilton. Tackle's going to be made by the Skylanders defense. So bouncing to the outside, making things happen. Stop short, third down on the 45-yard line. Leave it about two yards to go. For the so that'll be Let's hear for the short players. third down at the 45 of Sussex. Third and about two. It's about a four second differential on the play clock. They will have to snap this one though. Yes, they will. And they're gonna use the timeout. And we'll see if that comes back to haunt them using a timeout right before the end of the first quarter. But that onside kick, gutsy call by Coach Moore. And it ended up paying off. Again, folks, sussex.edu. All the information you need about becoming a student at Sussex. They have a great selection of programs. They have commercial training. They have the regular uh, academics. It's a terrific place. You know, you graduate, you're not going to have a mortgage that you'll have to pay like you do at some of these other schools. And you'll move on to a four-year school, and you'll be ready to go academically. The great preparation to move on. So Sussex County Community College, start here, go anywhere. Sussex.edu, want to thank President Dr. John Connolly, Dr. Corey Homer, Tom Poldsdorf, the athletic director, Tracy Smith, who does a great job in the athletics office as an administrator. And we're happy here at Morris Sussex Sports that we have the ability to bring these games to you. All right, third and two, probably the last play of the first quarter from the 45. Let's see what the Hawks do. And they give this to Hamilton, and let's see if second effort. Does, no, great job by Sussex. They'll rip him down. A great job by the Scounders defensive line. And that'll be the end of the first quarter, but a great job there by Sussex defense. Darry Felix, Felix, the safety, coming to make that stop. And we'll take a break, and when we come back for the second quarter, we'll see if the Hawks decide to go for it live here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Find your career path at Sussex County Community College. We offer a quality education, hands-on training, and a supportive staff to help achieve your career goals. With 100 in-demand program options at an affordable price, your success is our goal. Register at sussex.edu. Life or business growth? Visit us at aaronmizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. 
room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. At Autosport Acura of Denville, we know you have a lot of choices when it comes. All right, start of the fourth quarter, fourth and short. Hockey lining up like they're going to go for a long count. And they're going to give it to the running back. He's going to be bouncing through. He gets the first down. That's Hamilton. So good job by the Hawk, Hawking Hawks. And they'll get a first down at the 41 of Sussex. As they follow the big guys up front. Frazier, Middendorf, McCartney, King, and May. Got some good size. Frazier, big dude, 77, tall. So in Skylander territory, once again, are the Hawks. Showing pressure and Moore trying to get away. He's going to flip it and just get rid of it. Smart play by the quarterback. Second and 10. Live to see another day. Absolutely. Throw it where no one can get it. Incompletion, much better than an interception. As I state the obvious. You never know. Second 10 from the 41. Again, their record, very deceiving, Jesse. I mean, this has been a great game so far. Mm -hmm. You're looking on paper, you think, oh, this is going to be a walk for Sussex. No. Nope. Hawking always plays well against the Skylanders. Moore's going to drop back, set up the screen. It's complete. And what a tackle by Fletcher. Let's take a look at that again. Daryl Fletcher. Having a game. The screen being set up. Fletcher's going to have none of it. Look at that, folks. Great job by Daryl. So third and 10 from the 41. So can the Skylanders stop this drive? They started with the onside kick. And they got one first down, one forward on fourth. And we got a third and 10 right here. Let's see if they send a blitz. They do. And they cut the jail break blitz and that's caught. Nice throw by Moore, and that'll be first down. Pops out, but they say he was down. And although he was down, once again, Fletcher is around the ball right there. Always is. That was a tough catch by the Hawking receiver. Yes, it was, right into coverage. Right over the middle. First and 10 for the Hawks at the 23 of Sussex. Big third down conversion there. On the give, short gain. Emmett Prather with the tackle number seven. Hamilton on the carry. Ball spotted at the 22. Moore on the handoff. And again, good job by the Sussex defense. Another nice job by the Skylander. Hamilton with the carry and on the tackle. Third down makes some noise. The big guy, Amar Dry. So another third down for Hawking. Let's keep making some noise for the Skylanders defense on this third. And considering down, the uneven weather today, really nice crowd here coming out to support the Skylanders. Love to see that. I mean, gotta love that. Supporting your local college. Third and seven from the 20. 
Again, showing blitz. And the ball's dropped, and good job by Moore not to give that up. And jumping on top of Devontae Birdsong, but Moore did a good job not to give up the ball. And let's we'll see what kind of they might go for it, or do they have a pretty good kicker? We'll see what Coach Moore wants to do. Morgan Smith listed as their kicker. Again, let's make some noise for the Skylanders defense. And again, even with a long count, Jess, that doesn't give him a first down if Sussex jumps. But it does make it a more manageable fourth down. So you got to be smart here if you're Sussex. Mm -hmm. Fourth and seven from the 20. Or fourth and, excuse me, 12 from the 20. 24 yard line. Moore looking over and incomplete. And guess who? Darrell Fletcher. No surprise there. He's having himself a ball game. So turnover on downs. Good job by the Sussex defense after the surprise onside kick. Skylanders bounce back. And they'll get it first and 10 at the 25. Good job there, Jess. I mean, we'll see next time that this Hawks offense is on the field if they're going to continue to target Fletcher. And that probably not a good idea. Doesn't look that way. No, he's their top defensive back. He was great last year. He's one of those guys at the beginning of the year, James Robertson said he, he, the new trend, he was just going to list him as athlete without a position. The big tight end, Craig Ships, goes into motion. And the pitch is to Murphy. Cuts inside, and he'll pick up about two yards. Good job by the Hawks. They'll smother him up. No fumble. Three yards or so. Moving the ball up. Put a ball up to the 28. Gain of three, second and seven. Robson looking to throw. Gets it to Young. Cuts inside. Breaks a tackle. And then he's dragged down by the ever-present. Number 11, Lester McManaway. He's a great player, just number 11. He is, and you can see right there, number four for the Skylanders, was able to catch it twice right there, able to catch it. Unlike the first quarter, looks like they're right back in this groove. You're right, they get it to Cabrera, great block by Ships, and Cabrera stays in bounds. We'll have a flag and be a hold, maybe too much of a good block there. And this will come back. Yeah, that was a young, made a nice, did a nice job on that catch, but this is going to come back. Again, penalties have haunted the Skylanders all season. That will go back to the 30 after the hold. It was first and 20 from the 30. And they jumped. So free play, looking for Young, and almost intercepted, and we'll have a pass interference too. So it was a free play, but that penalty on the defensive pass interference, Sussex can accept that. That would be big for the Skylanders. I believe they can. We'll see here. All sides, decline. Pass interference, accepted. All right. First penalty was offsides on the defense, declined by the Skylanders. Because it was an offensive pre-snap. That's usually when they stop the play. The, if your defense jumps and it's not the guy's not in the backfield, they let the play go on. And by letting the play go on, Lobstein took a shot, and they get a pass interference. So it's first and 10 Skylanders from the 45. One of the things I've noticed watching this Skylanders team is they get a lot of players to jump on the defensive line. Lobstein does a great job at the hard count. Billy Quinn, outstanding player out of Sparta, does a great job at center. Young to the near sideline, number four. They got a lot of depth of receiver here at Sussex. Give us to Murphy, and he'll get a short gain. The handoff up the middle. Good four, three yards or so. Bring the ball up to the 48 yard line, second down and seven. So short gain, the ball on the 48 yard line. Swing it out to Cabrera, still on his feet, down the sideline, first down for the Skylanders. Short 
pass to number seven. He does step out of bounds, but it's still good enough for a first down. So Sussex starting to move the ball now, Jess, aided by that penalty. I mean, we've got nine minutes left in the second quarter. No points have been scored in this quarter yet, but we'll see what they can do on this drive. See if they look for Ships, the big guy, and they're going to give it to Murphy again. And he's going to get wrestled down after a short gain. The big guy making the tackle, Robert Sanders. He blocked the punt earlier. Another short gain and an injury on the well, play. We have an injured hocking player. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Find your career path at Sussex County Community College. We offer quality education, hands-on training, and a supportive staff to help achieve your career goals. With 100 in-demand program options at an affordable price, your success is our goal. Register at sussex.edu for the so why shop with dealers that don't value your time or play games with you? Why not choose a dealership that always values their client's time and has set a benchmark in customer service for nearly 40 years? Make it easy. Choose Autosport Acura of Denville. For sales, service, and a relationship you can rely on, make it easy and choose Autosport Acura of Denville. All right. Injured player walked off on his own. That's a good sign for a hawking. Second and eight from the 39. Aaron Young splits to the near side line. Twins to the far side line. And the give is to Murphy. Gets a great block and he gets the first down and more as he followed the big guy, Ships. In this offense, tight ends are used more than just as blockers, but that's a, a great job by Ships with that big body of his. It's like having a guard pulling. Or a tackle, first and 10 from the 29. I mean, your point about the big bodies, it looks like the Skylanders team is pretty big overall. They've gotten bigger over the years. One of, that, one of the issues when they first started was size, and they've definitely caught up to a lot of programs with the kids they have out there. Nice pass and catch. That'll be caught. Justin Sellers with the grab. So second, second down, down. ball be spotted at the 24. 24 we'll pick up a five, second and five from the 24. Seven and a half to go, and then there's a flag, free play. Looking for Young in the end zone, and he makes the catch, touchdown Sussex. What a grab by Aaron Young. And they will decline that penalty. Touchdown Sussex, we'll take another look at that. Young with a great catch and a great throw, free play, and they make the Hawking pay for it. And look at Young. He is dynamic. This wide receiving core with Lobstein, a quarterback, can make things happen. So a 24-yard touchdown, Lobstein to Young. So I'll be able to come out for the extra point. Lobstein will hold. So a good drive there by Sussex, 75 yards, Jess. I mean, they responded well. They put up 20 points so far in this game. We'll see what they can do for the rest of the game. And the 20, it was set up on a turnover on downs when they stopped hocking. So the big stop by the defense on fourth down. They get the ball to 25. They go 75 yards, capped by a beautiful pass and catch from Lobstein to Young. And Sussex now increases its lead to 21-12 with 7.19 to go here in the first half. Again, folks, go to sussex.edu for all the information, open houses, registration. You see all the courses. It's a great place to go academically, athletically, and financially. When you graduate from Sussex, you're not going to be burdened with a lot of college loans. A lot of the students are eligible for financial aid. You can get all that information by going to sussex.edu. Start here, go anywhere. And just to mention, most of our crew today has Sussex ties. Kelly Bard is a student, our producer. Our commentator and cameraman, Jesse Londino, is a student at Sussex. I teach a broadcasting class there. Paul Arvery, who is working the end zone cam, is a graduate of Sussex. So uh, it's a great place to go, and it gives you practical experience as you will go into the work world. If the associate's degree is what you want, and that's where you want to finish, that's fine too. But start here, go anywhere at Sussex. And a point about talking about Sussex, you teach one of the classes there. Yes, I do. Jesse, one of my students. 
All right, Savio will kick off. He put one in the end zone once. That's going to be a high one. And that's going to allow good coverage possibly here for Sussex as they bring it up and finding a seam and bringing it out again all the way out inside the Sussex territory. That's a great return. I believe that was Curran. And now every time Hawking takes a punch, they respond. And I believe that was Curran. But a great starting field position again. No one has really been in the shadow of their goalpost, Jess. Everyone's had a decent starting spot. Except for the last drive for Sussex, they were on their own 25. I mean, a great position here with seven minutes to go in the first half. And like you just said, it's been a great matchup so far. So first and 10 from the 47. So inside Skylanders territory, great response on special teams. Moore out of the gun. Looking for one-on-one -on -one coverage and good job there, coverage by Sussex. Nice coverage. Jacques nice Alfred. Jacques had a good game defensively last week against Lackawanna, one of the leaders in defensive statistics. I mean, that was great defense by Jock. He was able to turn around, make sure he wasn't able to get any flags. Great defense by him. As the Hawks took a shot, they saw one-on-one -on -one coverage. And folks, if you want to keep up with Sussex, go to their website and uh, you see all the game recaps written by Kelly Barta. We usually get them up midweek. I want to thank Kelly for that. Second and 10 from the 47. And the give is to C.J. Curran, and he's just a bruising running back. Vargas made the stop, but Curran laid the wood there. And will set up a manageable third down at the 42. As we have 6.45 and running to go here in the first half. We got a good one. 21-12, Sussex with the lead. Fletcher, one-on-one -on -one coverage to the receiver here. Sh safety might shade back. Looks like they're in cover two right now, Sussex. And on the give inside, it's Curran. He's going to get the first down on the delay. And be first and 10 from the 37. Wait to get the call from Coach Moore. Coach Moore was an offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach and then took over the program a couple of years ago. Program's been around since 2015. Moore played quarterback at Quincy College during his playing days. He's also the assistant athletic director for the Hawks. He worked at a junior college, he wear many hats. And the give is to Curran and this time nothing doing. Flying up to make that stop, Lamar Brown. So on the loss will be second and about 12 to the 39. This is key here just for uh, Sussex. They don't want, obviously, they, you know, ever want the other team to score, but if they can get a stop here, they have plenty of time to go punch one in. Yeah, I mean, that's a great point right there. With the big second down play, we'll see how the Hawks respond. Pressure comes, they pick it up for the moment, and, and with the sack, they picked it up for a moment, but a great job, Benji Guar, number 11, flies in and makes the sack. We'll take a look at that. Great job by Benji, another speed rush guy, using technique, and he gets through. Moore had a little time, but then Benji finishes him off, so it's gonna be a third and long from the 48. And that was back-to-back -back great plays by Benji. You can see how important he is to this defense as he backs up the Hawks' offense into a very third down play. Yeah, they need to get to the 27, so third and 21. And they'll get a timeout before the play clock was creeping down towards Zero, good job by the Hawks. That's their second timeout. They'll have one timeout left here in the first half. 
Again, thanks for joining us here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. I'm Dan Cleary, along with Jesse Londino. And if you are watching this game in the Ohio area, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. It's a long ride from Nelsonville to get here. And your Hawking Hawks have played very well. And Sussex looking to extend their great start, 3-1. They were 3-0 first time in school history. A lot of good stuff going on with the Sussex program, Jess. Now, Jess, I, I talk about, you know, how good it is to go to Sussex. You're a student. Kind of tell everyone on the air right now your experience. I mean, I, I've been here for a few years, about to finish up in the next coming year. And it's, it's a great place to start, like you've been saying. It's definitely cheap. Got to love that if you're a student. And, I mean, I'm going to vouch for you. Any student that's going to Sussex, I, I would tell them to take a class from Dan Cleary. Uh-oh. It'll be to, a fun one. Do I have to pay you now? No. All right. Very good. All right. Third and, tw third and 21 from the 48. See, they had a little trickery going over. And they set up the middle screen to Curran. And he's going to be short of the first down, but now they're in a definite position to go for it on fourth. Fletcher on the tackle, slow to get up. And the official stopping the clock, I don't know why. I mean, Fletcher got right up. But it's still going to be fourth down. Now Fletcher goes down. I think the official told Daryl to sit back down. So I think Fletcher's okay. This is just uh, procedural here. They'll take a look at him. But more importantly for the Hawks, they just went from third and 21 to a very manageable fourth and fourth and six. And we'll see how Sussex depth is as Fletcher's been on the island all night. And we'll see if they target number 24 for the Skylanders. That's a great point, Jess. Because Fletcher's been doing great. That's Khalif Soiree. And it looks like he is on the island currently. So we'll see. Sussex likes us to play a lot of zero coverage. All right, fourth down. Moore looking to throw, swings it over. It's caught. Oh, and a nice move, and that's a first down. Great job there by the receiver. He was not near getting first down yardage until he made that nice move. And that was... Cianti Jones, number eight. So a big fourth down conversion for the Hawks. And they'll have it first and 10 from the 23. Great job by the Hawks. Moore with Curran in the backfield. Moore's gonna keep it. And he's going to get tracked down. Good defense there, Lamar Brown from and Sussex. Like As again, they only have the one timeout left, Jess, but there's a lot of time left, 245. This has been a great quarter. Have, hasn't really been too many points put up on the board, but a lot of great football going on right here. Second and 11, loss there. Ball just shy of the 23. Sussex fans trying to get in with a defense chant. Good crowd here today. And the give is to Curran. And he barrels people over, but a good tackle there. Jack makes the stop. And we'll have another third down. Third and fourth down have really not bothered the Hawks today, Jesse. Yeah, I mean, they've been able to manage the game pretty well. Been able to play well on all the key points of the game. We could see what the, they're about to do just under two minutes ago in the first half. And they have picked up the Sussex Blitz extremely well and Moore's had just enough time to get rid of it on these third downs. A lot of credit to that offensive line. Showing Blitz again. Peoples creeping up. He comes. Tosses it up, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and broken up. Good defense there by the Skylanders, Jacques Alfred. Terrific job there, just setting up a fourth down. I mean, that, that was a great play. I know he wasn't able to come down with it, but that was a great pass breakup. Able to stop a touchdown right there. 
And good news for Sussex Fletcher back out there. So fourth and nine. Fourth down and nine. And the 21 yard line makes some noise for your scout. With 125 to go here in the half. Moore has shown tremendous poise in that pocket in the face of a relenting Sussex defense. And over the middle, has a receiver open, and he's going to be short of the first down. Oh, forward progress. They're going to give that to him. They do. Number 88 with the catch. Zion McIntosh. So... Forward progress got him that, Jess. Good job by them. And I expect this Hawks offense to bring this play clock down all the way down to the last couple of seconds. Don't give Sussex any time left. Ball on the 11, first and 10, so they can still get a first down without a touchdown. Actually, we'll call that the 12. As we're under a minute to go. They have one timeout in their pocket. Give us the current. Lamar Brown comes from the, excuse me, that was, Tyson, that was Jack, number eight, with the tackle. And they're going to use their final timeout with 41 seconds to go. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. At Sussex County Community College, we offer quality education, hands-on training, and a supportive staff to help achieve your career goals. With 100 in-demand program options at an affordable price, your success is our goal. Register at sussex.edu for the fall semester. Contact Mary Comito for an auto quote today. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. And we're back here live at Don Smolman Field here on the campus of Lenby Valley High School in Stanhope, New Jersey. I'm live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Jesse Londino. And uh, the story here for the Hawks, Jesse, has been their ability to convert on third and fourth down. I mean, a key second down play right here with 41 seconds. We'll see what they're about to do. And they're out of timeouts. So um, imagine they're going to throw. And they will, one-on-one -on -one coverage, looking in the back of the end zone. Oh, great defense. And you don't even have to guess who that was, Jess. That was Darryl Fletcher. I'm not even sure why they're testing him anymore. You can see he's locked down out there. Third and seven from the nine. Clock stops with 36 seconds to go. And another point about how great it is to have a lockdown corner. You could basically just shut down the entire side of the field and you don't have to worry about him. And they keep going at him, and he's already made a couple of great plays. So we'll have third down and seven from the nine. Moore in the backfield at quarterback along with Curran. Pressure comes. They're going to try again, and again, Fletcher's there. We'll have to call it Fletcher Island. I mean, he is, sir. In respect to, to Revis. Absolutely no help outside, out of there. You don't need to when you have such a great player like him. And Jess, you made a great point. That, that shrinks the field. You can do other things when you know that you don't have to get safety help with him. As the wind picks up. All right, 32 seconds to go, fourth and seven. They can still get a first down. The clock would stop on the first down. No timeouts left. Moore looks over the middle and a flag. And a good call there. That was definitely pass interference on the Skylanders. So they'll get a first and goal. Big mistake for the Skylanders defense as they were holding up pretty well now. The Hawks offense should get a first down, I believe. That's, a, that's always brutal 
pass interference on fourth down. And it was the correct call. A tough one, but the correct one. So can Hawking punch one in before the end of the half? If they go for two again, they can trail only by one. But they got to get in. This Sussex defense will have something to say about it. And again, with 29 seconds, they're close. They got the first down, so they could run the ball and then clock it with 29 seconds to go. So, And the timeout's going to be taken by Sussex. So with the time left, Jess, they can conceivably run the ball and then get up in the line and clock it with 29 seconds. So the, the run is there. It does, it's definitely doesn't have to be a pass. Most likely it will be. I wouldn't be too opposed to running on the first play. No, but not at all. You got three more plays after the first one, so who knows what the Hawks offense will do. Well, again, they can clock it. It's first down. So if they don't get the touchdown, they can run up, clock it, and then go to third down. You still have two downs to throw the ball to get it in. So there is the opportunity here to run the ball if you are the Hawks. So we'll see what the Hawks coaching staff comes up with. And if I'm one of the Hawks running backs, I'm telling them I want the ball this close right here. Trust the offensive line. I mean, they've been pretty good all night. I agree with you. First and goal from about the two. And C.J. Kern is a big back and tough to bring down. So I wouldn't, if they do run, don't be surprised if it goes into the hands of Mr. Kern. All righty. 29 seconds to go. Out of the timeout. 66 in the backfield as the extra blocker out of the I formation to give us the current, and he is no indication yet. No. Great job by Sussex. People's in there doing a great job, and we're going to have a flag for unsportsmanlike. Like, this is what has hurt Sussex if it's against them. But Dachi. Agravel doing a nice job stopping them. And it will be offsetting. But more importantly, they stopped. Great job by the Sussex defense. And not only did they stop them, it wasted a lot of time right there with 15 seconds left to go. As they put Ryan Pumphrey in the backfield, number 66. Should be first and goal again from the two. No ball movement and no down change because of the offsetting penalties. Actually, no, they were dead ball fouls. No, it would be first down. Yep. All right. 14 seconds left. But it should be second down then, I would imagine. Well, no, the ball's still on the two. Okay. Moore's going to try to sneak it in. And is he in? No indication. Waiting for indication from the refs on this. He did not get in. They're gonna mark him short. And they're going to run out of time. Oh, my goodness. What a turn of events. Sussex will make the stop as Hawking runs out of time. They do not get in. Let's take a look at that. Didn't look like he got in, but again, doesn't matter what we think, it's what the Stripes think, and the half will come to an end. There's a big scrum in there. Great job by the defensive line. Coach Moore from Hawking pleading his case that that was a touchdown. He's looking for more time on the clock. Sussex is gonna run off the field, and I don't know if they're gonna give them more time or not. Ball is spotted right at the goal line. The referees are still on the field. Nope, it's the end of the half. The lead referee is sending everybody off. All right, so one half of the books, a wild finish at the end of the second quarter with the big stop as hockey runs out of time. Sussex has a 21-12 lead. We'll be back with more action here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Sussex County Community College. We offer quality education, hands-on training, and a supportive staff to help achieve your career goals. With 100 in-demand program options at an affordable price, your success is our goal. Register at sussex.edu for the fall. We 
service all of your lawn care needs. We are a full-service lawn care and landscaping company providing traditional needs such as lawn maintenance, planting, trimming, mulch, tree removal, and stump grinding, as well as landscape design and snow removal. With over 10 years of experience serving Morris and Sussex counties for both residential and commercial properties, call DNA Landscaping at 973-223-5845. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Sean from Sean Malloy Fitness. Here's a little video to show you what we do here. Introducing Gemstone Orthodontics, where brilliance meets compassion in crafting your perfect smile. With a board-certified orthodontist, Dr. Patel, your smile is in expert hands. Our commitment to the latest advancements in technology bring precision and comfort to your orthodontic experience. Whether you are considering braces or liners for yourself or for your child, call today at 908-852-9899 or visit us at www.gemstoneortho.com to schedule a complimentary consultation. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. At Paint Puri, we don't just sell paint and paint accessories. We eat, sleep, and breathe it. Not actually, though. That would be weird. With our huge selection of incredible Benjamin Moore paints, choosing the right color and finish can be a big decision. Luckily, with over 40 years of experience, we can answer any question you have. Whether you're a seasoned contractor or a DIYer, we have all the tools you need to get the job done right the first time. Ready for your next project? Visit us at Paint Puri or shop online at paintpuri.com. At Pasquarella Brothers, we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using real fresh ingredients, and you can taste the difference. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers, all prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop into Pasquarella Brothers, you'll taste the difference. James Ultimo, your trusted licensed real estate professional at Exit Realty Connections in Hackettstown, New Jersey. With over 36 years of customer service excellence, James is the smart choice whether you're buying or selling. Your dream property journey starts with James Ultimo. Contact me today to turn your real estate dreams into reality. James Ultimo, 973-214-6448. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that.
Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with better with physical therapy located in the madison ymca request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Majestic Flowers and Gifts, your trusted family-owned and operated florist since 2006. Our loyal customers are always satisfied with our attention to detail and customer service. We serve all of Morris County and offer deliveries for any flower needs. Providing our customers with a variety of flowers from prom flowers to anniversary arrangements, wedding centerpieces, get well soon flowers, funeral flowers, and much more. Next time you're thinking of getting flowers for your loved ones and special occasions, rely on Majestic Flowers and Gifts to provide nothing but the highest quality. Chief, I'm a little busy. Uh, she wants it now. Explain to me how I'm going to do that. We got fast lane, Brian. The fast what? Fast lane. Bring her in. This is us? Paul Miller Fast Lane? Who else would do it? Buy a car? Trade a car? Finance a car? Have it delivered completely online? This is so easy. She could have done it herself. She said you're the car guy, Brian. Isn't that the truth? Get the fast lane, winner. It's the only way to fly. That's fast lane. Powered by Paul Miller. That is the Paul Miller difference. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at Max. MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. This gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. 
I'm the CEO of Wiss Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. The green wave isn't just what we call ourselves. It represents all we are called to. We strive for excellence in mind, body, and spirit. We put in the work in programs that test us, guide us to the colleges we pursue. We live true to putting others before ourselves, to the lifelong connections we've made. This is the spirit and strength we are called to. Roll Wave. Step-by-step -step painting and general contracting, your trusted partner for all your home needs. For over two decades, we've brought our clients' visions to life throughout northern New Jersey. Our team of professionals and commitment to excellence deliver outstanding results. From painting, bathroom and kitchen renovations, additions, remodeling, and custom faux work, we've got you covered. Our team tackles projects of all sizes and complexities. Step-by-step -step painting, building dreams, one project at a time. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Calling all parents of young athletes. Did you know that safe medication disposal not only protects your young athletes, but also the environment they play in? Be a proactive guardian. Safeguard your home by disposing of medications properly through drop-off sites in New Jersey, located at most police departments and designated pharmacies. By doing so, you help prevent pollution of our precious environment, ensuring clean waterways and healthier surroundings for your young champions. Make a positive impact on their lives and the planet. Safely dispose of unused and unwanted medications today. Hmm. be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. The County College of Morris Foundation Annual Golf Classic is coming to Brook Lake Country Club in Florham Park on Monday, October 16th. Golfers will enjoy 18 holes of golf on one of New Jersey's premier courses between a barbecue lunch spread and a buffet dinner. Registration begins at 11 a.m., giving golfers access to the locker room, driving range, and lunch in the clubhouse before our 12.30 shotgun start. At 5 p.m., enjoy an open bar cocktail reception prior to our 6 p.m. dinner and awards program. Proceeds benefit CCM student-athletes. Register online at ccm.edu slash foundation slash golf. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, 
poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Attention homeowners, get ready to meet Brandy Brosian of Compass Real Estate. Brandy wants to sell your home with ease and maximize your return on investment, providing a personalized approach that includes deep cleaning, to staging, to professional digital exposure. Brandy's innovative approach provides so much added value that you and your home will feel the VIP difference. Don't wait another day. Reach out to Brandy Brosian today. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. At Autosport Acura of Denville, we know you have a lot of choices when it comes to buying your new Acura. So why shop with dealers that don't value your time or play games with you? Why not choose a dealership that always values their client's time and has set a benchmark in customer service for nearly 40 years? Make it easy. Choose Autosport Acura of Denville. For sales, service, and a relationship you can rely on, make it easy and choose Autosport Acura of Denville. Contact Mary Comito for an auto quote today. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. DNA Landscaping. We service all of your lawn care needs. We are a full-service lawn care and landscaping company providing traditional needs such as lawn maintenance, planting, trimming, mulch, tree removal, and stump grinding, as well as landscape design and snow removal. With over 10 years of experience serving Morris and Sussex counties with both residential and commercial properties, call DNA Landscaping at 973-223-5845.
Hey everyone, what's up? This is Sean from Sean Malloy Fitness. Here's a little video to show you what we do here. Introducing Gemstone Orthodontics, where brilliance meets compassion in crafting your perfect smile. With a board-certified orthodontist, Dr. Patel, your smile is in expert hands. Our commitment to the latest advancements in technology bring precision and comfort to your orthodontic experience. Whether you are considering braces or liners for yourself or for your child, call today at 908-852-9899 or visit us at www.gemstoneortho.com to schedule a complimentary consultation. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Jen Basilino. And welcome back to Don Smolen Field here at the campus of Lenby Valley High School in Stanhope, New Jersey. As Morris Sussex Sports presents Junior College Football in Sussex County Community College with a 21-12 lead over Hawking out of Ohio. Thanks for coming back to join us to watch this second half. Dan Cleary along with Jesse Londino. We want to thank Sussex County Community College for sponsoring this game. Go to sussex.edu for all the information if you want to become a student. And we'll go over the scoring summary. Hawking took a 6-0 lead on a 5-yard run from Jason Threat in the first quarter. And then the score was 6-0 after the extra point hit the goal post. Sussex came back, took the lead, 7-6, and we're underway. And the ball will be fielded at about the 12. And great coverage by Sussex. As James Lobstein, a 35-yard run on a quarterback draw. Extra point good, 7 6 Su Sussex. Then a fumble recovery and a scoop and score by Darrell Fletcher. He took it th 20 yards. Sussex took the lead 14 6. And then Sussex actually, uh, Hawking came out and answered with a CJ Curran 27 yard touchdown. Two point conversion was stopped 14 12 Sussex. And that was our score after one quarter. Second quarter, Sussex scored. Uh, a beautiful pass from Lobstein to Aaron Young from 24 yards out, 21-12. But the first half ended on a crazy note as Hawking ran out of time. They were on the one-yard line. And they're going to start this drive at the 21-yard line. And they ran out of time, so a big turn of events there as Sussex defense came up big and Hawking ran out of time. Going to bring in my partner, Jesse Londino. Jesse, how big is that? stop for Sussex and them running out of time because we could have had a one-point game. I mean, it's a big stop because, as you can see right here, they had the ball, and they could have taken the lead back if they're able to score this drive. So second and seven from the 21, and a give to the second back, and he's going to get knocked out of bounds. We're going to have a flag. That might be an unnecessary roughness penalty. Unfortunately, I think both of these are going to be on Sussex. And we have an injured player all the way over on the track. Hopefully they're okay. Been a physical contest. We've had a lot of penalties. 
So in this angle, I can't see what the number is of the player. And it's so CJ Curran, 28. Gonna add up for a total of 30 yards going against the Skylanders. So two roughing, or two one unnecessary roughing. roughing. And, then after the play, and it would not be roughing the passer because he handed it off, but it'd be unnecessary roughness after handing the ball off to hit him. So a big chunky yard coming Hawking's way. And this is what Coach Robertson, we talked about in the first half. They have to play more controlled Sussex. Don't let their emotions get to them. And it's great to be able to see him get up on his feet and walk on his own. Always a great sight to see. So the ball will be spotted to 39, first and 10. It's gonna be first and 10 from the 40, 39 yard line. And I believe it should be the 39, or is it the 41 that they're, are they gonna move the ball? Referee's going to talking it over. Yeah, they didn't mark off enough yards. It's 30 yards. They only marked off 15. So good job by the officials. And that's a huge penalty. Two penalties. So Hawking will start here. First and 10 from the 46 of Sussex. Next week, Hawking will make another trip, not as far, but in Pennsylvania, they'll go see Lackawanna, and Sussex will host Hudson Valley next week, 1 o'clock at Sparta, a game you'll see on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. And on first down, a good carry, about 78 yards for Hamilton. He gives them a nice little burst of energy. You got Curran, who's a, a workhorse, and you got Hamilton, a little bit shifty player. We have an injured player. That's number 66 that grabbing his leg. Hopefully he's gonna be okay. And we'll take a break. We'll be right back here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Find your career path at Sussex County Community College. We offer quality education, hands-on training, and a supportive staff to help achieve your career goals. With 100 in-demand program options at an affordable price, your success is our goal. Register at sussex.edu for the fall season. The Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973 202 2103. At Paint Puri, we don't just sell paint and paint accessories. We eat, sleep, and breathe it. Not actually, though. That would be weird. With our huge selection of incredible Benjamin Moore paints, choosing the right color and finish can be a big decision. Luckily, with over 40 years of experience, we can answer any question you have. Whether you're a seasoned contractor or a DIYer, we have all the tools you need to get the job done right the first time. Ready for your next project? Visit us at Paint Puri or shop online at paintpuri.com. At Pasquarella Brothers, we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using real fresh ingredients, and you can taste the difference. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers, all prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop into Pasquarella Brothers, you'll taste the difference. And the injured player was Ryan Pumphrey, hobbled off. Hopefully he'll be okay. He's been a big part of this game in their short yardage packages. They put him as a fullback. So it'll be second and short from the 39. Again, hockey knocking on the door at the end of the first half, just ran out of time. And we talked about just using that timeout right before the end of the first quarter, but it might hurt them. It did. It did indeed. I mean, with the clock running down, we weren't able to get up to the line in time. Hamilton, big hole up the middle again. Frazier, Middendorf, McCartney, King, and May opening up some big holes there. And that's a first down for the Hawks. Jess, it looks like the Hawks are getting more and more comfortable with their running game, not throwing as much as they did when they first came out. I mean, 
they've had a pretty stout offensive line, and I would trust these guys and keep on trying to win in the trenches right there. See if they throw at it. This is a running formation. They do. And again, oh, he gets tripped up. He had a chance to break that. Hamilton, he knew it too. But he gets tripped up. Making the tackle there was Emmett Prather. But again, Hawking starting to exert its will on the offensive line. So far in the second half, it looks like it's been all Hawks. I mean, we only got three minutes into the second half, but they look pretty dominant right now. And of course, Sussex its own worst enemy with the two penalties totaling 30 yards. Seems to be Sussex's biggest weakness so far. So second and short from the 25. Give us, and Moore's gonna keep it, he rolls out. Dumps it off, it's caught, and fumbled. Oh, a big break for Sussex. They had the first down hocking and Peoples will get the fumble number 41. Oh, what a big turn of events. And it was number 41, Peoples. A mob Peoples covers it up and the tough break there for Hawking. And the extra effort, you can't blame him trying to get into the end zone. Bull gets stripped and comes out and Sussex stops the drive. Another big momentum play, but his defense from Sussex, Jesse. I mean, Sussex gets the ball basically right where they stopped the Hawks offense last, last half. And we'll see what they're about to do in their own end zone. First and 10 from the two. Murphy in the backfield with Laubstein. Uh, Laubstein, excuse me. Got to watch here for any sort of safety. They're going to look to throw. Lobstein rolls out, has a receiver. That's caught by Cabrera. No, incomplete. That would have been a first down. That was an incomplete pass. Another great throw by Lobstein. Jesse, we've seen him. We saw him against Williamson. We were watching him today. Boy, does he keep his composure or what? He is. I mean, he's got great composure. and He looks big for a quarterback. He is a big guy. I was looking at a few of the players on both teams, and it doesn't look like he's a quarterback. He look like he could play linebacker. All right, second and 10 from the two. Eight seconds on the play clock. I'm gonna throw again. Going for it, has a wide open receiver, just overshoots him. Oh, that would have been a big one. Oh my goodness, Justin Sellers was wide open. That would, that would have been huge, Jess. That would have been, I mean, so far on these two downs, great defense by the Hawks defense. They've been able to stop this Sussex offense. I'm sure Sussex is gonna get a quick one right here. Well, they had a drop and they just had a wide open guy on a fly pattern. See what they do here on third down. Will the Hawks bring pressure, try to get a safety? Lausine's gonna take it, and he just gets out of the end zone, still on his feet, and that's a great run by James Lausine. He gets the first down. Let's hear it for number 12. What a job by James. What a terrific athlete. I mean, we were talking about his arm. He's been getting it down on the ground tonight. Look at him breaking tackles here. Again, to your point, Jess, his size, he's physical. Well, up to 21, first and 10. On the give inside, it's Murphy. Do we have a flag? Yes, we do. And we're gonna have a hold. So that'll come back. Lobstein with the big conversion. More importantly, he gets a first down, obviously, but gets him out of the shadow of the goalpost. That's big for them. I mean, it's a lot more manageable now, but now it's gonna be pushed back with the holding. Yep. So first and 20 from the 10. Uh, we'll call that the 11. You know, if I had to take a guess on what play call they might call here, I wouldn't be too surprised if they do another quarterback draw. Not a bad idea, especially if they're in man coverage, because those guys in man will be trying to cover their receiver. They won't see Lobstein taken off. Yep, their backs will definitely be turned. Mm -hmm. Quick out to Ships, and the big guy gets upended. Good tackle there by Hawking. A 
on the tackle for a hawking, Nate Amato, nicely done, taking down ships. So second and 18 from the 13. Twins to the near sideline. Young is a speed burner, number four. Keep an eye on him. And they're gonna hand it off to Murphy and Murphy's gonna bust through and he'll get back close to the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be about third and 11. So ball on the 23rd and 11. You know, with so much yards to go on the f to get to the first down, I'm gonna be too surprised if they try to get him off guard. The Hawks' defense has been pretty disciplined so far in the second half. That they have been trips to the near sideline. Motion will go that way. They're gonna look to Murphy, and that's incomplete. And he had some blockers and some green in front of them there, Jess. I mean, those are easy, easy plays. You can't let those go. Those are killers to drives. That's what the fourth and fifth drop, unfortunately, for the Skylanders. So Lobson will set up for punt to punt, so Hawking will get it back as they trail 21-12. See if they come after. They've blocked one already today. Each team has a block, and they will come after, and Lobson will get rid of it. I don't know if that reached midfield. So Hawking team, uh, Hawking will have good field position once again. So they'll spot that just inside the 50. So they will start in Sussex territory. And they were knocking on the door last time they had it, but the fumble near the goal line. The Hawks got another great field of position right here. Special teams have been big. Two block punts, missed extra point, stopped two point conversion. And for Hawking, they've done very well in the return game. Motion. Moore to give inside to Hamilton. Well, he picks his holes well, and then he has power to boot. He pushes the pile to about the 41. Hawking with another run up the middle. And Peoples on the tackle. Pick up six, second and four. You know, we had a loud first quarter and there hasn't been really too many scoring drives since then. They haven't been able to finish Hawking. That's a fortune for them. They've had opportunities, just haven't put it in the end zone. And Flipping it out on the option and gets tripped up short of the first down. Just enough to trip him up there. That's going to bring so him up. Set up third, third and short. Down. And again, one of the storylines today is third down has not been an issue or fourth down for Hawking. I see Sussex crowding the box right here. Third and short from the 39. And great job there barreling through for the first down and getting a lot more yards behind that big offensive line. That's Hamilton again, number two. So they'll spot that at the 26, first and 10. First time they had the ball in the second half, they moved right down and it had the turnover. And they're moving again. Keeping it on the ground. <clears throat> That's a great tackle. Slicing through and making the stop there, Emmett Prather. So second down. And how many times have we seen Hawking go into have a play, they have a loss, and it just doesn't matter because third and fourth down, they just come up clutch. You know, it's very interesting to see how Sussex defense has been ex excellent on first down plays, but 
like you said, all night, they've been able to convert on those key third and fourth downs. So second and 12 from the 28. Moore on the give inside. Good job, Sussex read that one. Bodies flying out of the pile. And we're gonna have more flags. Last time the Hawks had the ball, they were aided by 30 yards and two unsportsmanlike on Sussex. We'll see who this will be against. They'll sort it out. Dead ball foul. And it'll be against Sussex. So we're gonna add 15 yards. It's another first down. Again, Sussex hurting its own cause with these penalties. And they'll spot that ball just inside. 15 to the 14, so first and 10. So hockey knocking on the door once again. You know, and we've been talking about it all night, how big these penalties are for the Skylanders. And one of these drives, the Hawking Hawks are definitely going to get into the end zone at this point. That's what they're hoping. But Sussex has been able to pull some magic out of their hat. And he gives inside. Good job there by Sussex. First one to meet him there was Emmett Prather. That runs held for a short game. Ball's gonna move up to the So we second down. Second and eight. Ball at the eight. Uh, check that ball on the twelve. Picked up two, second and eight. We approached six minutes ago here in the third quarter. Thanks again to Sussex Community College for sponsoring this game. Go to sussex.edu. He gives the current. He's gobbled up right away into the big hands of Amar Dry. So a third down for the Hawks. And third and fourth, just other downs for this team, Jess. It doesn't shake them. Yeah, we'll see right here with the about third and six. You could hear the crowd getting into it right now. Big play right here. Ball be spotted at the 11 yard line. All right, third down at about seven from the 11. Motion. More. And touchdown. Great job, Moore finding the receiver in the back of the end zone. Gonna catch his number, you see the number, Jess? I can't really tell right now. Kind of dark out of that back end of the end zone, but what a play by Hawking. It was a great play, able to get through the defense. He was wide open up the seam. And Moore had enough time to play action, kind of held the linebackers, so. 21-18, they will go for two, it looks like. And like I was saying before, these penalties are gonna catch up to Sussex. And they certainly hurt them there. So 5.15 to go in the quarter. Thrown up and broken up by Sussex, so the... So no good, so the score will remain 21-18 Sussex with 5.15 to go here in the third quarter. So Hawking getting the job done here in the third quarter. Took a lot of time off the clock in those last two possessions. I mean, the first two halves, or the first two quarters in the first half, both of them took a while. And we're already down to five minutes left in the third quarter. And again, the message James Robertson has to have for his Skylanders, keep your cool. They basically handed him that drive with that penalty. Yeah, I mean, and I know that this wasn't the scoring drive, the last drive, but they had a big penalty on that one. They gotta be able to stay disciplined. And those are, those are penalties that you can control. I mean, you can have a holding, you're gonna get a pass interference. Those things are gonna happen, but the ones where you don't keep your control, those are the ones that drive coaches nuts. It's only gonna hurt your team that way. So 
Harking will kick off. And they're right back in this one, 21-18. Again, that end of the first half, will that be the difference maker? When well, they just ran out of time, Hawking. Feel it about the 28. And gets wrestled down, so a good return by Quantra's Bird. And it'll be first and 10, Sussex. You know, that was an interesting decision to squib the kick right there. Give Sussex a pretty good field position. And they'll have it at about the 42, first and 10. With 5.08 to go here in the third quarter. Thanks for joining us on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Jesse Londino. Going to swing it out. Caught. And getting the first down, nicely done. Little pitch and catch there between Lobstein and Justin Sellers. And that'll be a first down for the Skylanders. Ball be spotted at the 45 of Hawking. Galino with the run, and he gets a first down barreling over people, and he gets it to the 30. That was a great run by the Skylanders, able to truck over one of the Hawks defenders. And you could see this Sussex offense is rolling. John Galino getting in there, first and 10 from the 31. You give it to Galino again, finds a little bit of his seam. That's a good carry on first down. He'll get it to about the 24. Second and three, gain of seven. The referee went down. Hopefully he's okay. He's gonna get up. When you're refing near the line of scrimmage, that is not for the faint of heart. We should be able to get him some pads when you're up that close. Absolutely. I remember with Matt Millen, when, when he was calling games for NFL uh, on Fox, they had him ref a game in the preseason with a camera on him, and he's, it was insane what those guys have to go through. All right, second and three at the 24. Well, to play action, rolling out, has a receiver young, and he's met immediately. Great tackle. Jean-Louis Nunez with a great open field tackle. So third down. Ball to 26. They lost two. Well, seen looking to throw. Feels the pressure. Rolls. He's going to tuck it and take it. And he's going to get the first down. He gets knocked out of bounds. But it looks like there's a flag on the play. It's going to be another hold. Well, that'll negate the first down run by James. I know the Sussex coaching staff has definitely talked about how they could fix these penalty problems. I mean, think about how much better they could be if they didn't have as many penalties. Pete Walmart, one of the offensive line coaches, was a terrific player at Randolph, played at East Stroudsburg. Exhorting his team. Ball will go back to the 36. Loss of 10, third and 16. Trips to the near sideline. Galino in the backfield with Lobstein. Five on the play clock. Lobstein looking to throw. Down the middle looking for Young. He makes the catch! And it's a touchdown Sussex! Another great catch by big play threat Aaron Young. 36, 36 yards out. Let's take a look at that. What an athletic play, Jess. I mean, you can't get, make a better catch than that one. Another great catch by the Skylanders offense. Go, I mean, they go. have so many weapons all over this team. Just go up and get it. That's my athlete against your athlete. And Aaron Young wins that battle. Savio will line up for the extra point. Lobstein with the hold. 
Kick is up and it is good. And we have another flag. That extra point by Savio is good. Kick was good, so it should be 28. 18. So that'd be probably assessed on the kickoff, and they'll have to kick off the ball deep in their own territory. So 28, 18, 10 point lead for the Skylanders. A great catch by Aaron Young climbing the ladder, and he makes the grab. So we'll see where they have to, they'll set this up 15 yards back from when they normally kick off. And what a way for the Skylanders able to respond right there. Being able to take a deep shot, throw it up to one of your best players, and just trust your receiver that he's gonna be able to make the play. And Young's had a very good year with that talented receiving core. We talked about them at the top of the broadcast. Aaron Young, Duke McDuffie, Jael Cabrera, Justin Sellers. And then you got the, the tight ends that are very active, Craig Ships. He hasn't looked to A.J. Pachota today, but uh, Lobson's got a lot of weapons. Yes, he does. But because of another penalty, Hawking might get pretty good field position because they got that kick off from their 20. That is definitely a great point. And so the last point you were talking about, all the great weapons, we haven't talked too much about this offensive line for the Skylanders. They've done a great job pass protecting for Lobstein. They've been banged up a little bit too, but they've done the job. Coleman, Quinn, Reed, Casenzo, Thomas, Wollers. So we'll see if this hurts. Savio's got a good leg, but kicking off in the 20, that's kind of tough. They'll send a little grounder. See if it bounces through and then covered up by threat. So they'll get the ball in good field position, first and 10 from their own 45. Hey folks, we want to thank Sussex County Community College for sponsoring this game, sussex.edu. Go there for all the information if you want to become a student. You can find out about the financial aid packages. It's a great education at a great price. Start here, go anywhere, Sussex County Community College. So Hawking has been able to move the ball here in the second half, Jess. Just the, the big stop on the fumble. Yeah, they've been able to make it make their offense move on the ground. They've got a great offensive line, great running backs. We'll see what they're about to do here with the crowded box from the Skylanders. And they scored last time they had the ball. Motion. And be given to the motion back on the jet sweep and weaving his way around. Is Kishion Barber, go number six. Short of the first down marker by a few yards. And you know, it catches up to you too, Jess. These penalties, which extends drives, your defense has been out there a lot for Sussex. Yeah, it has. And you, got, you talk about the penalties, all the great effort on those plays that have the penalties, you just waste all that energy for a flag that's only ultimately going to hurt your team. So, second and about four from the Sussex 49. 228 to go here in the third quarter. Give inside and short of the first down. Hamilton on the carry again. Peoples That's in there as long as as well as Benji Guar. And another third down for the Hawking Hawks. Ball on the 47. Third and two. Long count, see if Sussex jumps. They'll hand it off, and a great job of getting out of the tackle is Hamilton. He gets to the side, he gets the first down. Oh my goodness, he was dead to rights, and we got another flag. And Peoples is hurt, 41. And we'll figure out what's going on. We have an injured player, he's gonna get up. I think he's just upset he missed the tackle. And it's against Sussex. So again, just their own worst enemy, missed tackle, and then you horse collar the guy after he gets the first down. A lot of peoples will come off. So another big play on third down for Hawking. And that ball will be at the Sussex 20, first and 10. 
And once again, like we've been talking about all night, it hasn't just been the small penalties. It's been the big penalties, 10, 15 right. yards, 30 yards even. Great point. They're well over 100 yards in penalties today. Penalty. It's going to be a first down for the Hawks. At and they were bailed out by the fumble on the one drive and then the scoop and score for Fletcher. So the Sussex holding on to a 10-point lead, but it's not a dominant 10-point lead. No, definitely not. Motion. And he gives inside. And they found something here with their running game, Jess. You pointed that out before. I mean, another thing I've noticed is that when they have passed so far in the second half, they haven't targeted number 13 on the Skylanders defense. He's been locked down over there on that side. Darrell Fletcher. Hamilton with the carry picked up one ball at the 19. Second and nine. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Hawking driving again, but with the aid of a lot of Sussex penalties. They give it to Hamilton, and he breaks away again. We're going to have another flag, many flags. That run's gonna be good for about and that will be against Sussex face mask. So that should give him the first down. I think that was the intentional one, Jess. We'll see what they call. Another big penalty for the Skylanders. I mean, it's another 15-yard penalty. You can't stop this offense if you're going to keep giving them free yards. Oh, absolutely. And it is the 15-yard kind. So it will be first and goal for the Hawks. First and goal for the Hawks. From the seven-yard line. Ball will be spotted inside the 10. We'll call that the seven. Just about 25 seconds left in the third quarter. 15 on the play clock, so they'll have to snap the ball. Moore's done a great job directing this offense today. Again, this is a much better team than their record. And on the handoff, trying to get the edge, and he has tracked down Vargas in there, doing a good job. And that'll be end of the quarter as Fletcher makes the tackle too. So three quarters in the books here at Don Smolen Field here at Lenape Valley Regional High School in Stanhope, New Jersey. Our score is Sussex County 28, Hocking 18. We'll be back with fourth quarter action right after this. Career path at Sussex County Community College. We offer quality education, hands-on training, and a supportive staff to help achieve your career goals. With 100 in-demand meet. James Ultimo, your trusted licensed real estate professional at Exit Realty Connections in Hackettstown, New Jersey. With over 36 years of customer service excellence, James is the smart choice whether you're buying or selling. Your dream property journey starts with James Ultimo. Contact me today to turn your real estate dreams into reality. James Ultimo, 973-214-6448. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry, the team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. you can get better with better with and we're back here live at Lenape Valley High School. Don Smolen Field, second and goal from the seven for the Hawking Hawks. And good job by the Sussex defense. They make the stop there. Current on the carry. That's gonna be held short. It's gonna be for good tackle third. there by and Emmett Prather, and it'll be third and goal from the seven. Again, want to thank Sussex County Community College for sponsoring this game. We'll have all the home games on the Moore Sussex Sports Network as we have an injured player out there. 
and let's see if he's going to get up or they're going to have to tend to him. They already came out. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Find your career path at Sussex County Community College. We offer quality education, hands-on training, and a supportive staff to help achieve your career goals. With 100 in-demand program options at an affordable price, your success is our goal. Register at sussex.edu for the fall semester. Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Majestic Flowers and Gifts, your trusted family-owned and operated florist since 2006. Our loyal customers are always satisfied with our attention to detail and customer service. We serve all of Morris County and offer deliveries for any flower needs. Providing our customers with a variety of flowers from prom flowers to anniversary arrangements, wedding centerpieces, get well soon flowers, funeral flowers, and much more. Next time you're thinking of getting flowers for your loved ones and special occasions, rely on Majestic Flowers and Gifts to provide nothing but the highest quality. All right, the injured hockey player off the field on his own power, but hopefully he'll be okay. So this will bring up third and goal from the seven for the Hawks as they trail by 10 here in the early part of the fourth quarter here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Jesse Londino. Still plenty of time right here. 14 minutes to go in the fourth. Moore under center. And to give this to the running back, and he's going to bust his way in. Touchdown, Hawking. With 14.22 to go. And on the touchdown, it's CJ Curran to make it 28 24. They will go to for two to try to make it 28-26. So Curran with the touchdown on the two-point effort, and they're gonna get it. That's Curran again. So great job by Hawking. They come right back, and they now trail 28 to 26. So Hawking, great job by them. They marched down the field. And again, they've moved the ball in the second half, Jess. They, they have two touchdowns, and they fumbled after a nice catch by the two-yard line. Other than that, they probably have the lead. I mean, all credit to that front line up there for the Hawking offensive line. They were able to push them, put the Sussex defenders all around, and a lot of help for the penalties, but... You can't really complain about it if you're the Hawks. No, they'll take it. If you're gonna keep your composure, then you should be rewarded for it. So, Sussex hasn't had the ball a lot in the second half, and that's been a key too. The Hawks have played keep away. I mean, that's one of the best ways to be a high-powered offense. Don't give them the ball. Right. So we'll see how Sussex reacts. Their lead was 10, and it's now two. It could, you could definitely see how that play 
matters how much to the Hawks. I mean, you can see them. They're already engaged. Oh, they're, they're fired up. And don't give that a ride. Fielded at the 22. Bringing it up is Cabrera. And it's a good return for Cabrera. He's going to give Sussex terrific field position right near midfield. Another great special teams play by both teams. I mean, getting all the way up to midfield, great field position for this offense. So they'll take over with 14-14 to go here in the fourth quarter. They have a two-point lead. Looking to get their fourth win. That would equal the school record for wins. They were four and six the last two years. So Laubstein will bring them to the line. And the handoff is to Murphy. And he runs into a pile of Hawks. The big man, Sanders, number, number 90, he had the block of the pun. He led the charge. So he, no gain or just a little bit of a gain. Second and nine from the 50. Lopsin looking to throw, feels the pressure, rolls out, and he's going to dance out of bounds. Good job by him. Get something out of nothing as he'll get it out to about. Looks like about a yard short. They stepped out of bounds at the 46. So will make a third down. They need to get to the 41, so third and five. Definitely stepped out sooner than I thought. Yeah, you can't, it's tough to tell on the far sideline. Galino in the backfield. He had a couple of nice runs when he was in there. Cabrera motion. Well, seen looking to throw, has time, has a receiver, Cabrera open. He makes the catch. Jalel Cabrera in double coverage. How many times have we seen that tonight, Jess? These Sussex receivers, we talked about how good they are. In double coverage, comes up with the big catch. Let's, we're gonna take a look at it. I mean, these receivers can, can do it all. They could do it on the ground. They could get a, a lot of yak plays. And you can see right here, great jump ball from the Skylanders receiver. Great catch by Jalel Cabrera, and that's first and goal from the 10. And the give is to Murphy, and he's going to get wrestled down. Short gain. That runs to be good for a few yards. Ball's going to be marked down at the eight yard line. Second and goal from the eight. I mean, if you're a local wide receiver in the area, what other school to go to if you want to go to a community college? You can see how well they develop these wide receivers. Absolutely. Lobstein flips it up, looking for Sellers. Touchdown, Sussex. Great catch. What a great job by Sussex. Justin Sellers with the touchdown from eight yards out from Lobstein. And right on cue, another wide receiver makes another great play. Able to get open with the great route running. Another great play by the Skylanders offense. And a great job of answering at the hockey made it a two point game. They march right down after the good return. And they have an opportunity to tack on to this lead with an extra point. And it's good. Sabio doing a nice job all year. So that extra point will make it 35-26 with 12.08 to go here in the fourth quarter. Now the interesting now, the thing to watch now, Jess, will Sussex keep its composure on defense? I mean, if I'm one of the coaches, that's the first thing and main thing I'm telling them right now because you got this game at a great point, nine point lead, and you can't have any mistakes for the rest of the game. They can't, be, they can't allow the Hawks to extend their drives with those penalties. And again, holding, offsides, legal procedures, they're gonna happen. But you can control the unsportsmanlike ones. That's just being a, a matter of, of, of self-control. 
So we'll see the Hawks have owned the time of possession in the second half, but Sussex didn't need much time on that drive. Started off at their own 49, and they take it in a 51-yard drive. They definitely don't need a lot of time. No, Very explosive not. offense. I mean, they've had catches into double coverage all game. Where we said, my athlete against yours, and Sussex athlete has won the battle. So we'll have a kickoff here with 12.08 remaining. And an onside kick. Wow. Interesting call there. Trying to catch them off guard. And it does not work. And the Hawks will get it in outstanding field goal uh, field position. Interesting, Jess. You know, very interesting. I, I thought about bringing it up saying, you know, it should be just be a deep kick, but you can see how aggressive these coaches are and how much they trust their players. All right, so Hawking will get it first and 10 from the Sussex 47. It's a two score game, but there's a ton, ton of time left, 12.06. Trips to the far sideline, looking like the, a passing formation or they'll set something up running that way with those blockers. And then give us inside and great job defensively. Prince Breed and number one making the play, the initial, initial hit. It's gonna be for a loss of about a yard. And now lose one, second, second and 11 line. from the 48. You know, another interesting note I've noticed is how many times they've passed the ball in this second half. It hasn't been too many. They've been no, relying hasn't. on the running game. Uh, we were saying before, behind that big line, and they found something they think that can work, which will eventually set up a pass as the linebackers will creep up in safeties for Sussex. Of course. And he gives inside to Hamilton. He gets gobbled up. The big guy with the tackle, a more dry. But third down, again, like we've been saying all game, just another down for this hockey team. Just another drive it is. And a, a big one in, in this point in the game with 11 minutes to go left in the game. So third and long from their own 48. They need to get to the Sussex 37. Well, they got to get in the huddle real quick. They got 10 seconds to go on the play clock. They might have to burn a timeout. Let's see. Nope, they're going to be all right. Third and 15. Sussex cannot commit a dead ball foul here. And under pressure and incomplete into no man's land. No flags. This is going to be incomplete. Bring it up up. Good job by Sussex defensively. They brought the pressure and no flags. So that'll be fourth down. Again, you got to watch here for the fake because of the spot in the field. Vargas back deep to return the kick. Ten thirty-five to go, and Sussex they put the, the pedal to the metal. So there's no. We might see some runs, but they'll run their offense and try to add to that lead. They get rid of it. Fair catch, signaled and caught at about the twenty-two. So a big defensive stop there for uh, Sussex Jess after the Hawks kind of moved the ball with the aid of some penalties, but that's a big stop for Sussex. You know, and it, it definitely was a big stop, and there wasn't any penalties on that drive, I don't believe. No. So Sussex will come out. One of those guys coming out on the offensive line, Ishaya Ozniga Crandall. Number 65. So first and 10 for the Skylanders from the 23. And they have a nine point lead. Handoff. Galino barrels forward. He gets uh, to about the 26. That runs will be good for about a pickup of two. We'll and up on the tackle for Hawking, Cody Rito, number 54, inside backer. So second and two from the 25, under 10 to go. 
has Sellers. Nice open field tackle. Making sure he didn't break anything there. That's Jameer Hobson Jones. You know, that's a great point. He got beat on the quick route, but he's able to wrap up real quick and get him down onto the ground. Third and one from the 31. They need to get to the 33 to keep the drive going. Off the play action, Lobstein rolls out and he's gonna be stopped. He will, let's see, he leans forward. Oh, what a job by James Lobstein. He used the big frame and all his buddies in the offensive line. He gets the first down. What a play, Jess. I mean, again, when you have that big of a body at quarterback, you can do almost anything in, you want in that offense. This is watching here, the body, and he leans in there. So first and 10, Sellers, he's gonna get out to the 49. And I love the decision to go quick there. Uh oh, Sellers is hurt, that's not good. So first down at the 49. Try and get the proper personnel out there. And Lobson keeps it. Weaves his way through and the tackle will help him pick up two more yards. Nice fake there by Lobstein. So Lobstein Gets it to the 44. Pick up six. Second and four second from the 44. The Actually, second and three. Picked up seven. We're working that play clock. As we are approaching eight minutes to go. They got plenty of time. 11 seconds on the play clock. Where Sussex has to be disciplined and not jump. Another quick out and almost picked off. Are they saying that's a pick? Yes, it is. Interception off the bobble and Hawking has life. They get the pick. Wow. That was a great play by the Hawks defense. And you see how much injuries matter. They got one of their reserves in. He wasn't able to catch it in and a big turnover. Wow. With the pick, Aaron Foster. So Hawking gets it back, only trailing by nine. First and 10 from the 35. 7.51 to go. And a fumble, and Moore will get on top of it. That ball was almost given back to the Skylanders offense. Immediately almost. Elijah Heisen covered up the quarterback, so loss of five, second and 15 from the 30. You know, that's just how this game has gone. Every time one of these teams has a big play, the other team makes another great play. It's, it's, been, it's been a dichotomy. We've had amazing plays and we've had awful plays. Sets up the screen, has some people. Oh, that's just a great tackle. And that's Jacques Alfred. And he stays in bounds, keeps him in bounds as the clock will continue to run. I mean, how, how great is that to have a corner that's able to tackle in the open field? That's what Jock Alfred does right there, and more importantly, he kept the guy in bounds. So a third down from the 29. Loss of one on that, so it'll be third and 16. Man, this is one of the most important plays of the game right here with 6.37 to go. And they might have to call a timeout, Jess. We've got four seconds four left seconds. on the play clock. See if they get it off in time. They do. Moore looking to throw, pressure over the middle. And incomplete, no flag. Vargas all over him. We have an injured Hawks player. He's gonna get up. He's trying to get up. But what a job by Vargas. They'll set up fourth down. 
it's only a nine-point game, and there's plenty of time, 6.23. They got all their timeouts, so I would imagine Coach Moore will punt here. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Find your career path at Sussex County Community. Brian, we just got a text. Sussex County Community College. We offer quality education, hands-on training, and a supportive staff to help achieve your career goals. With 100 in-demand program options at an affordable price, your success is our goal. Register at sussex.edu for the... Explain to me how I'm going to do that. We got fast lane, Brian. The fast what? Fast lane. Bring her in. This is us, Paul Miller Fastlane. Who else would do it? Buy a car, trade a car, finance a car, have it delivered completely online. This is so easy. She could have done it herself. She said you're the car guy, bro. Isn't that the truth? It's the fast lane winner. It's the only way to fly. That's fast lane. That was by Paul Miller. That is the Paul Miller difference. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at Max. MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. All right, the injured player is off the field. Hawking looks to punt. They get it off, and Vargas will pick it up and take it out of bounds. So a big stop there, Jesse, by Sussex defense because of what? No penalties. Another drive without any penalties and another drive without letting up any points. You can't ask for anything better than that. And they can salt this one away with another scoring drive. And they were just unlucky on that last turnover. But the defense rose to the occasion when they needed to. Hawking had all the momentum. First and 10 from the 35. 6.14 to go. Hawking has all of its timeouts left. As does Sussex. Sussex might have to burn a timeout here if he doesn't get this off. And they get it off just in time to give it to Galino. And on first down, he'll pick up about two or three, get it to about the 38. So second and seven from the 38. It's gonna make it second down. Got plenty of time, 25 seconds. Trying to make Hawking jump. But they don't need to, they still have 15 seconds on the play clock. And they're gonna hand it off Fake, excuse me, play action, dumped off, looking for ships. And that just was not a well-executed play. They, they snapped it, in my opinion, way too soon. And the play was kind of a busted play. And so you're talking about another busted play, and the clock has stopped now. Right. And they snapped it with a good 12 seconds left on the play clock. Third and seven from the 38, but they got so many big play guys out there, it doesn't matter. And look at this defensive formation. No safeties back deep. All man coverage. And they're going to send the house. Lobstein sees the man coverage, throws it up, and it's incomplete. And we have a flag. Flag, and it comes from the far side of the field. The official watching the play did not pull the flag, Jess. It was the back judge in the middle. You know, we were just talking about it that last drive, or that last play. They had no safeties deep. Mm-hmm. And they tr the quarterback trusted him deep. Good recognition by Lobson and the receivers. They might have changed the route and said, go do a fly. Go up and get it. 
one of the few times tonight where they haven't been able to come down and get it. And one of the few penalties for Hawking tonight. Very disciplined team. Again, they got the, their hands will be full next week. They make another long ride, not as long as the Jersey, but they'll go see Lackawanna. Sussex will be home next Sunday at 1 p.m. at Sparta High School. They'll play Hudson Valley, a game you can see live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. So a big first down on that flag with 5.30 to go. The ball at the 47-yard line of Hawking. Six on the play clock. Clock has stopped, so we'll have to play action. Lausin looking to throw. Has a wide open receiver for Young. Is he in bounds? He is. Aaron Young, the human highlight film. And that'll be a first down at the 16 yard line. What a play. I love the decision to throw deep. Trust your receiver. And now they're in great field position with 5.15 to go. 31 yard connection to Young, first and 10 from the 16. And they're gonna try again, this time open but overshooting the receiver. And that was Juwan Fouché with this limitless stable of wide receivers, Jess. <laughs> I mean, they go deep. They got so many weapons. I feel bad for the guys that can't even play because Everyone is talented on this team. No doubt. This is, this is by far the most talented team Sussex has assembled. Second and 10 from the 16. Great job by Jim Robertson and staff recruiting. Galino in the backfield with Laubstein. Give us to Galino. Check that, I believe, is that, that might have been Murphy, folks. Let me see, no, it was Galino. He'll get it to the 11, gain of f about five. Third and five from the 11 as the clock will continue to churn. With four, five, 4.45 to go. Hey folks, you wanna find out who our player of the game is, you'll have to go to our social media. Jesse Londino will have all the post game reaction for our climate care player of the game. Nine on the play clock. Laupsin into the back of the end zone, incomplete. That pass to the back corner of the end zone is going to be incomplete. It's going to bring up. And I know we were talking about all these great athletes on Sussex and all the great wide receivers, but laupsin has been able to put it right in the perfect spot every single time. Oh, he's he's terrific. I mean, he was recruited by uh, New Haven Univer University, of New Haven, a Division two school out of his home state of Connecticut. And he's getting looks. He was telling me this, this past week, Pittsburgh State and Kansas is looking at him. So uh, he's, he's a great prospect. So Sabio will come out for the field goal attempt. It'll be a 29 yarder. Make it a 12 point game. It's up and it is good. So Sabio with the 29 yard field goal. So they will get points out of that drive. And it's now 37. Check that 38 26, it should be. Yes, 38 26, 12 point lead. And again, this game brought to you by Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere. Go to sussex.edu for all the information. I want to thank Dr. John Connolly, Dr. Corey Homer, Todd Poldesworth, the athletic director, Tracy Smith in the athletic office for all their help in getting this on. Kathleen Peterson, the marketing director at Sussex. Great staff up there. And folks, if you want to go and get a great education at a great price, no, no better place than Sussex. So big touchdown there, Jess. Definitely a big one. Being able to put the Skylanders up 12 points. I mean... With just about 419 left in the game, the Hawks offense is going to have to start passing. Yes, they are. They, their success in the se second half has been on the ground. But uh, you're exactly right. 
And a great kick again by Sabio. That'll be a touchback, two of those today. Definitely a great decision to kick it all the way down the field. Don't give them any free yards. So the Hawks will get the ball with 4.19 to go. First and 10 from their 25. And we'll see if Daryl Fletcher and the gang can make some big plays because they are going to throw and they got their pass rushing unit out there. Breon Askins, 20, will come with defensive end. So Skylanders assuming pass, and they're going to assume right. Pressure comes, they get rid of it, incomplete. And we're going to have a roughing the passer. And that was Breon Askins who got in there but laid the wood a little too hard down there on the quarterback, so we're going to add 15. And again, we can't talk about it enough. Another free 15 yards for this defense. They're closing in on 200 yards total in penalties. Ball up to the 40. I mean, closing in on 200 yard penalties, that's unacceptable at any level. No doubt. And if they're able to win this game, I mean, they'll take the win. No apologies ever for a win. But it hasn't been a Picasso, let's say that much. They'll set up the little screen to the outside. Plenty of room. And on his horse, great job by Hawking. Screen pass. So Hawking will have it first and 10 at the 34. And you can see how big that penalty was because they're already down here at the 39 yard line with just under four minutes to go. And all their timeouts. In the middle, good tackle there by Sussex. Emmett Prather, number seven. And we have another injured player. See if they're okay. All the way back by the 50. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Find your career path at Sussex County Community College. We offer quality education, hands-on training, and a supportive staff to help achieve your career goals. With 100 in-demand program options at an affordable... This gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100%. All right, injured player get off on his own power. Offensive tackle. Ricardo Frazier. So second down from the 30. Looking to throw wide open. It's caught. And that'd be another first down. Clock will stop on the moving the chains. But Hawking going right down the field, Jess. Yep, they're definitely going down the field. But another great open field tackle on that side of the field. First and 10 at the 21, 310 and running. And obviously if they score, we'll see an onside kick. Moore, one-on-one -on -one coverage and broken up. Nice job there by Jacques Alfred. I mean, you couldn't play it any better there right there. He didn't turn his head at all. It almost looked like the ball was thrown to him. And again, those two corners, Jacques Alfred and Daryl Fletcher, as good as it gets. Second and 10 from the 21. Clock stops at 2.52. Off the play action, Moore feeling the pressure, and he's sacked. Coming off the edge, it's Lamar Brown. That's a big sack. And we'll see if they call a timeout here. Big sack by Lamar Brown. Watch him, he never gives up. He comes off the edge, and Moore's a good athlete, and he tracks him down. 
That was great effort by Lamar Brown, able to get around side the left tackle. And you can't make a better play at this point in the game right here. Clock's running. Absolutely, third and long. Third and about 15 from the 27 yard line. Pressure comes again, he gets rid of it, incomplete. And the pressure coming from Elijah Heisen. And here's the game right now if you're hawking. Fourth down. They need to get to the 11-yard line. And I know that wasn't a sack, but that was a great pressure. Oh, without a doubt. So clock's sliding down. So the clock stops, stops, excuse me, with 2.06 to go. And a timeout going to be called here by Sussex calls the timeout. They want to get their proper people out there. And we'll step aside. We'll be right back. Find your career path at Sussex County Community College. We offer quality education, hands-on training, and a supportive staff to help achieve your career goals. With 100 in-demand program options at an affordable price, your success is our goal. Register at sussex.edu for the fall semester. ...to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of Wiss Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. The Green Wave isn't just what we call ourselves. It represents all we are called to. We strive for excellence in mind, body, and spirit. We put in the work in programs that test us, guide us to the colleges we pursue. We live true to putting others before ourselves, to the lifelong connections we've made. This is the spirit and strength we are called to. Roll Wave. All right, fourth down, long for Hawking. Tossing up, back in the end zone, has a receiver, Jacques Alfred, does he break it up? He does, what a great job by Jacques Alfred. Him and Fletcher have been amazing tonight, Jess, another big breakup, a turnover and downs. Two timeouts left for Hawking, 158 to go. What a play, Jess. I mean, you gotta love that play and you gotta love that celebration. You're allowed to celebrate when you're making plays like that all night. So I'm sure Hawking will use their timeouts here. 158 to go. 25 seconds on the play clock. We'll have to do some math here. Let's see if Sussex even has to snap the ball after those timeouts. We'll see what happens. And the handoff inside. And we'll see if we get a timeout. Second timeout called by Hawking. So we second 11 with 149 to go. They have one timeout left. Just this defense tonight for Sussex has come up big. Hasn't been maybe one of their top efforts, but they've made the plays when they've had to. They definitely have. and. We have a, we talk about their penalties. I, I believe their defensive backs haven't made a single penalty. They've been locked down all night, both of them on islands, and it just helps that front seven able to play just exactly how they want to. And again, as well, you know, with the penalties and some of the things, they still have scored 38 points today. 38. They've only allowed 26 as of right now. What a great effort from this Skylanders team. I mean, this offense... The defense carried this program the first few years. This offense is terrific this year. 27 points against Prep, 38 against Williamson, 54 against Thaddeus Stevens, 24 against the National Power in Lackawanna, and 38 tonight. And that's all thanks to, obviously it starts up front with the line, but James Lobstein, what a terrific athlete and quarterback. That's one p missing piece Sussex has needed the last few years. I believe that was a delay a game. It was a delay. And those are the tough ones to take when you're coming off a, a timeout. 
Yeah, I mean. That's a head scratcher. It didn't even look like he was ready to snap. It looked like he thought he had another 10 seconds. And the clock is stopped. So those are the things that drive you nuts as a coach. Ball on the 20. Second and 15. The pitch to Murphy. He's got plenty of room. He's got to stay in bounds if he's smart. Let's see. He does. He cuts inside. Great job by Murphy. First down as he gets tackled at the 49. A 30-yard plus run for Murphy. That might be the biggest run of the night for him and you know, for the Skylanders. Jaden Murphy said, forget that penalty. I'm just going to take mm -hmm. the entire team all the way down to midfield and close this game out. And they're going to call their last time out with 127 to go. First down. So let's do the math, Jess. 25 on the play clock. We have 127 on the game clock. So they might just run it out here. Looks that way. Hey, again, one. Thanks, Sussex County Community College, for sponsoring this game. Go to sussex.edu. Start here. Go anywhere. And if you want to find out all the post-game reaction from the Skylanders, please go to our social media. Jesse Londino will have all the interviews and our Climate Care Player of the Game. So look forward to that. And again, I want to thank everyone at Sussex. And also want to thank our man Paul Arvery working the end zone cam. Along with Savannah, great job at the Morris Sussex Sports Crew as, as always. Jesse Londino doing double duty, commentating and shooting, and always the great Kelly Barter working the board. Kelly's a legend, dare I say. I got two legends up in the booth with me. And there, we don't need that in offsides or full start. And immediately that player is asked to leave the field. <laughs> you know, it's strange with this much time left in the game, how Sussex is still having penalties at this point in the game. And when they run into a team that's as good or a little bit better, and that's what Lackawanna was, it ended up in an L. They can't do this against so many other teams. I mean, Hawking's good, but they still only have the one win. When they play the Monroes and play Hudson Valley and Erie, they're going to need to clean things up. Because the talent is there, the amazing talent on this team. Murphy gets wrestled out of bounds. You know, I, I, I love the decision by the ref to not call a flag right there. It's an obvious decision trying to throw him out of bounds to stop the clock. And the clock does not stop, so we will keep running. Second and 10, no gain. And he can wait. He's got 20 seconds and we're under a minute. So they can, they don't even have to uh, run a play, take a knee if they want to. Because by the time they snap, it'll be under 40 seconds again. I don't get that, but they throw the pass. So that stops the clock with 40 seconds to go. That's why I'm in the booth, Jess, not coaching. I still don't understand it. I don't get it. They can line up in the victory formation now because they're out of timeouts. And again, taking their time. But again, the clock has stopped, so it doesn't matter when they snap now. Just about seven seconds left. But running this, the play clock doesn't help you here because the game clock has stopped. Lobson's going to look to throw again. Over the middle, has a receiver. It's caught. That's Aaron Young. And he's going to get dragged down to 20 with 28 late. seconds to go. So Sussex wants to stick one in here. They're not looking to, and they're going to call a timeout. Very interesting decision right here. Coach Robertson wants to get more points. He's made that clear by calling the timeout. And this would be their first win over Hawking. And they're going to try to stick in another one in there. And they'll have a first and 10 from the 20. I can't say I've seen this before. Definitely uh, interesting decisions. On the college level, you will see this, Jess. High school, a little different mindset. 
Coach Robertson making the decision to try to attack another one on, and that's his call. The game still is not over. 20 no. seconds left. They're, they're trying to punch one in. They just used the timeout. All right, first and 10 from the 20. Lofstein looking to throw, looking for ships, and this would be flags all over that. Yes, indeed. Pass interference. So we'll add 15. 13 seconds to go. So maybe one or two plays left. Be first and goal. It's gonna be defensive pass and it should be first and goal. And they're gonna spot that around the seven, eight yard line, it looks like. Eight yard line, we'll call it. First and goal from the eight. Nope, they're gonna push that up to the five. So 13 seconds to go, first and goal from the five. Well, I've seen looking to throw, and he's going to take it himself, and he's going to get wrapped up. Are they going to call another timeout or let the clock run out? And Coach Robertson does call the timeout, but they don't. the referees do not hear him. He did call the timeout, but they don't acknowledge it, and that'll be it. So congratulations to Sussex as they post a 38-26 win as they bounce back from the big loss to Lackawanna with a, a hard-fought win tonight, 38 points. Good job by them. They moved to 4-1 as they will play next Saturday, Sunday at Sparta High School at 1 o'clock, a game you can see here live in the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Hey, big shout-out to everyone from the Morris Sussex Sports production team. Savannah, Paul, Kelly, Jesse, great job doing commentary and shooting. Jesse will have the post-game reaction on so, so, uh, more of sports social media. I'm Dan Cleary. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. One man back for the Braves. Camacho, and it's a squib. And look at that ball roll, and who oh gets my God. it? I think Hackettstown recovered. Low snap, could be blocked, and it is. Busting through for Hawking and making the block, picked up by number 11, but what a great job by number 90. Big guys up front. Again, they're record deceiving. They play a tough schedule. Moore out of the gun. Going to give it the threat again, and he is going to be in touchdown, Hawking. So a quick two-play drive from 21 yards out, and Hawking will draw. Murphy back there with him. Off the play action, runs right into the sack, and that's Lester. McManaway, their top defensive player. Third and 17 from the 42. Lobson's going to take it as it seam up the middle and great run by James Lobson. He'll be short of the first down and we'll see if Coach Robertson decides to go for it here. I would imagine he is. So third and nine from the 40, 40, excuse me, from the 45. Skylanders showing blitz. They do come. And just getting rid of it is more, but a great open field tackle. That's Vargas. Looks like they are. They only got one guy back, Vargas. Good snap. They do come after, and they block it. Daryl Fletcher with the block, trying to pick it up. They should just fall on it at this point. There you go. Everyone's thinking six. Showing blitz. They send one guy. Lobstein will take it. And that's a design draw because he's such a terrific runner. He's still on his feet. And he's in for the touchdown. What a run by James Lobstein. 35-yard touchdown for the quarterback. Motion. 
Gets it in motion, back it is fumbled and picked up by Sussex and it's Daryl Fletcher, touchdown Sussex! Daryl Fletcher having himself a game, a block punt and a fumble recovery. And they bring in Breon Askins, number 20, a speed rusher. Not the biggest guy, but he's very quick. And right on cue, Askins makes the tackle in the sack. It's almost like you called that play. And Murphy, a little flea flicker set up. Lobstein gets hit while he throws and it's gonna be intercepted at the 41. Great job by Hawking from the 27. Moore and Kern in the backfield. Long count, high snap. And Kern's gonna make something out of that. Still on his feet and one guy to beat. And is he in? Yes, touchdown Hawking. A great run. For Hawking will kick off. And it's an onside kick and bounces around and he gets it. Did it go 10 yards? That's the big question. You're looking on paper, you think, oh, this is gonna be a walk for Sussex. No, nope. Hawking always plays well against the Skylanders. Moore's gonna drop back, set up the screen. It's complete, and what a tackle by Fletcher. Let's take a look at that again. Back in five from the 24. Seven and a half to go, and then there's a flag, free play. Looking for Young in the end zone, and he makes the catch, touchdown Sussex. What a grab by Aaron Young. A punch went in. Yeah, I mean, that's a great point right there. With the big second down play, we'll see how the Hawks respond. Pressure comes, they pick it up for the moment, and with the sack, they picked it up for a moment, but a great job, Benji Guar, number 11. 66 in the backfield as the extra blocker out of the I formation to give us the current and he is no indication yet. No, great job by Sussex. All right. 14 seconds left. But it should be second down then I would imagine. Well, no, the ball's still on the two, okay. Moore's gonna try to sneak it in and is he in? No indication. Give this, and Moore's gonna keep it, he rolls out, dumps it off, it's caught, and fumbled! Oh, a big break for Sussex! They had the first down, Hawking and Peoples will get the fumble, number third down. Will the Hawks bring pressure, trying to get a safety? Lausin's gonna take it, and he just gets out of the end zone, still on his feet! And that's a great run by James Lobsey, and he gets the first down. All right, third down at about seven from the 11. Motion. Moore. And touchdown. Great job. Trips to the near sideline. Galino in the backfield with Lobstein. Five on the play clock. I've seen look at the throw. Down the middle looking for Young. He makes the catch! And it's a touchdown, Sussex! The quarter here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Jesse Londino. Still plenty of time right here. 14 minutes to go in the fourth. Moore under center. And to give this to the running back, and he's gonna bust his way in. Touchdown, Hawking. When he was in there, Cabrera motion. Lobstein looking to throw, has time, has a receiver, Cabrera open. He makes the catch. Jalel Cabrera in double coverage. Two. If you want to go to a community college, you can see how well they develop these wide receivers. Absolutely. Lobstein flips it up, looking for Sellers. Touchdown, Sussex. Great catch. So we'll have a kickoff here. 12.08 remaining. And an onside kick. Wow. It Off the play action, Lobstein rolls out and he's gonna be stopped. 
He will. Let's see. He leans forward. Oh, what a job by James Lobstein. We are approaching eight minutes to go. We have plenty of time. 11 seconds on the play clock. Sussex has to be disciplined and not jump. Another quick out and almost picked off. Are they saying that's a pick? Amazing plays and we've had awful plays. Sets up the screen, has some people. Oh, that's just a great tackle. And that's Jacques Alfred. Six on the play clock. Clock has stopped, so. Well, the play action, Lobstein looking to throw. Has a wide open receiver for Young. Is he inbounds? He is! Aaron Young, the human highlight film from the 21. Clock stops at 2.52. Off the play action, Moore feeling the pressure and he's sacked. Coming off the edge, it's Lamar Brown. That's a big sack. All right, fourth down, long for Hawking. Tossing up, back in the end zone, has a Receiver Jacques Alfred, does he break it up? He does, what a great job by Jacques Alfred.